absolutely terrible news. Literally up until maybe 30 seconds ago, shrimp was sitting there. This close to a cat cam. This close. And then he ditched me. So I'm really sorry to have to break it to you, but we were this close. <laughs> Sunny was here yesterday. Same thing. Here for like, like, you know, the last like 20 minutes before I went live. Soon as I press go live, cat leaves. Why? That's mean. Anyway, hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Let me get my game open. We can play some Sims today. It should be fun. Teenagers, am I right? Yeah. <sighs> my six month old teenage kittens. <laughs> we have matching sweatshirts. Oh really? This is my Pelican Town one. I got this on Etsy like probably two years ago or something, but I like it. So anyway. <laughs> I did have a nice Christmas. Thanks, man. I hope you had a good Christmas, too. I had a nice weekend. You're wearing yours right now? Oh, no, wait. Are we matching? <laughs> Me and my Stardew Valley sweater as I play The Sims 4. <laughs> did you? Lizzie, that's cool. That is very cool. All right, let me get the game open. Well, it's open, but you can't. There we go. Now you can see it. I love how the gallery spotlight actually works. I see something new every time I open the game. And this is old. This is from, from 2022. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, was going to play a little bit of the Not So Berry Challenge today. Um, we played a few days ago and we were working on the detective career. We were raising the children. We had like three Sims die. <laughs> so we'll have to give you a little bit of um, an update. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you all know what's going on. <laughs> Um, cause, <laughs> you know, much to, much to discuss after last time in case you missed it. We have 275, um, graves, yeah. Gen genuine question, why do you post your more Simsy VODs out of order? Um, I don't normally. I posted them out of order this weekend because I pr tried to prioritize the Christmas content before Christmas was over. Um, so like on, uh, the day before Christmas, I did a Christmas build or on the 23rd before Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Eve, I did a Christmas baking stream. So I posted those like straight away, like the next day so that the Christmas content would go up on Christmas on my second channel um, instead of posting it like today. Um, so the VODs were like slightly out of order just because of Christmas. Um, and there, I put the dates on them. So it's, you know, more obvious, but that's the only time that that kind of thing happens is when there's like, you know, something like that, like a holiday um, or like a reason that I want to try and pull uh, the content to be sooner, like to another, to give another example, say I did like an early access live stream. I might try to post the early access stream VOD like the next day and then push the ones that I hadn't posted yet from like two days ago to be later, just to get the early access one up on YouTube faster, because I think more people care about that one, you know? <laughs> um, so that's the only reason that they ever get posted out of order. It's, it's just when there's like a special occasion kind of thing is when I post them out of order on my second channel. Does that make sense? Anyway. <laughs> um, hi everybody, welcome back. Mart, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, and Ashley, and Galaxy, and Bananas, we got Cat, Goose Kingdom with the 73 months that you hope. <laughs> um, also Cherry, and P-Wood, and Serena, and Lava, and Myla, and Peanut. Um, Love Ghosted, and Queen, and Quack, and Lacey, and PMR, and Zebra, and Soupy, and Daredevil, and Zebra again, and Egg in a Wig, and Gold, <laughs> and Junimo. Uh, we got Katie and Jaden and Racket and Jojo and Indy and Shelby and Gabby. Uh, also Emily and T-Ray and Razor and Stormy and Pink Lady. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay, so here's the situation, everyone. Here's what we're working with right now. Last time we played, um, <laughs> last time we played, we have this baby called Pickle. I think that he was born already, but just in case he wasn't, baby called Pickle. Um, Princess's mom, Barbie, the previous gen sim, dead. <laughs> um, yes, she was an elder. And in fact, she was going to die like the very next day. But something worse happened. And I was playing on three times speed while trying to build my Legos from my advent calendar. And unfortunately, the toilet caught fire, she caught fire, and then, oh my god, look at this. And then she died. 
before I had a chance to intervene. I even tried to plead for her, but I, I wasn't quick enough. Um, the thing is... She was about to die. She did not have nine days left. No, 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 no. She had like maybe two. I was on a short lifespan. <sighs> Barbie's dead. It was really actually very tragic. To be honest, I forgot about that until this morning when I was recording because I'm making a speed build um, of this house to post on YouTube finally. <laughs> Listen, I forgot I hadn't posted it, but I, I was making the speed build today to post on YouTube and I was doing a tour and I opened up the save and I was like, oh my God, Barbie's gone. <laughs> I had forgotten and so I had to like re-grieve Barbie all over again earlier. It's been a long day. Um, also the horse, dead. Old age, old age. It's not my fault, um, but the horse did also die of old age. So, <laughs> um, may the horse rest in peace. <laughs> um, so we had that. Also, um, Alan the rat probably died like twice and Princess's brother, Georgia Story progression the neighborhood story stuff got him. He's dead too, but that wasn't me. That was neighborhood stories that got him So We really have um <laughs> We've been a it's been a lot <laughs> uh, Anyway, um did you ever switch off short lifespan? No, I think I'm back on short lifespan again. I So here's the- no, no, we're back on normal actually, yeah. I, I put it on short lifespan for a bit because I was sick of playing- like, the, the, the normal lifespan is so long. So I put it on short lifespan for a little bit just to help like progress us along. And the thing about playing on short lifespan is that I swear to you, it causes more chaos. Like, like even things that were unrelated to the short lifespan. Tell me how, as soon as I turned on short lifespan, my sim's brother died from neighborhood stories. What? <laughs> what? It just feels like as soon as you put that setting on, the game is like, okay. Chaos mode. It, at least that's what it seems like to me. There's no evidence for this. It's just how it feels in my heart. So we've been through a lot. <laughs> um, the grave collection is really is really growing though, so we're looking pretty good there. Um, <laughs> anyway, Toya and here lies Asia and Krista and Ferret in a sweater <laughs> and Dog of the West. Uh, we got Anne and Ghost and Sammy and Simjan and Holly and Ewan and A and Private Papaya and Pigeon and Via and Mariana and To Be Free and Tara and Marissa and Tech and Ashley and Galaxy and Bananas. Thank you for the sub, Sparky too. Um, and, and we got Vix and Maze. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, so we should be good to start playing then. As far as uh, work schedule goes, we have the weekend off. Ooh, lag. Lag, 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 lag. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Is that poop in the inventory? Oh, it very well could be. Let me find out. Oh. Oh, look. I've already, we must have already counted this one for the grave collection, but I must have never placed it down. So that's fun. Um, yeah, that would be horse poop and dog poop. In case you were wondering. <laughs> oh, I can't place it in there. All right, well. We do finally have a horse grave, look. Oh yeah, Dustin was our co-worker, I forgot about him. Yeah, this is what the horse grave looks like. And that's Barbie, I put her next to the horse. So. <laughs> wow, just throwing away the last piece of strawberry that we have. Oh my god, no, 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 hold on. Oh. Earlier there was a poop there, but I must, because I was in this save when I wasn't live. I must have gotten rid of it with, oh no. You guys, we have no more remnants of strawberry. <laughs> oh! Can I put it like on a shelf or something? Hold on. Here we go. No, 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 hold on. I have shelves in the house. Wait, look. It actually slots on there. Why does the 
horse poop slot onto the counter? That is vile. Wow. Okay, I'll keep it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's so weird. You know how so many items like don't slot correctly? And yet for some reason that does. <laughs> Like, so much stuff in this game does not slot right. And then that, that's what they pick. Okay. Not the stink. Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of got a bit of a aura. <laughs> it's giving off green air. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Griffin, Lion, and Reader, and Rihanna, and Lisa, and Cloudberry, and Stargazer, and Spark. Uh, thank you all for the subs, everybody. And now I won't forget to take it for the next house. No, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll have it in the next house. We'll have it forever. It's going to be so special. Is Pulp sad? What's wrong with you? Shh. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Do you want to, like, continue training the dog? <laughs> Uh, if so, thank you for the sub gifts. Anonymous with the sub gift to Paige. Sorry, no, I combined those. Apes, so thank you for the 23 months and anonymous with the sub gift to Paige. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, and Victor and Rachel, thank you both for the resubs too. It's your birthday, Griffin. Happy birthday. That's so exciting. Um, okay. Wait, Pulp is still alive? Yeah, I keep giving Pulp age down traits, so Pulp will never die. Um, I take this really seriously. Okay, can you just play make-believe, like, a couple more times, and then I'll have you- Okay, that's all you needed to do, is get level three. Um, then you can come talk to this dino, so we can get you some skills that way. Um, oh, really, Christine? Oh, that's so exciting! Well, happy first birthday to your niece, that's pretty fun. Um... Oh, when I was leaving the grocery store earlier today, I saw someone leaving. They had like a bouquet of flowers and a little balloon that was like, congrats about a baby being born. And I, when I walked past them, I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> that's so fun. I don't even know that they're just a random person, but I walked past and I was like, oh, <laughs> someone, someone they know had a baby. <laughs> and I got excited for them. <laughs> hey, Gales, thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay, okay. It is 10 p.m. You can finish cleaning up a little bit. I'll let you finish training pulp a bit more because it is only- Oh, you're in the treehouse. Okay. And then I wanted to work on Moss's second aspiration tomorrow because I want to try and get some reward trades. We already have one, but I don't think it would hurt to try and get some more reward trades. So that's what we're up to. Trying to build some more. Um... You've had like 10 friends have babies the past two weeks. Really, Cora? I don't know that many people that have had babies. For the first time, my, so my cousin had a baby, like the first of my cousins to have a kid um, just a couple months ago. And now one of my other cousins is gonna have a baby. So that's very exciting. <laughs> There's babies in my family for the first time ever. Um, Cause my siblings and I are the youngest of all of our cousins. Um, so, uh, the, you know, we were the babies. <laughs> Um, but now, uh, one of my cousins just had a baby recently. My grandma met her for the first time, the baby, uh, over Christmas, which was kind of exciting. She's a great grandmother now. Um, and she, she got to meet the baby, the new baby. Okay. My little sister is no longer the baby. <laughs> my 18 year old sister is no longer the baby of the family. <laughs> okay. I'm going to send everybody else to bed quick so we can actually have a nice peaceful evening. Five, Christine? Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, wow. This is honestly taking me out. <laughs> and I'm not even, I'm not even her parent. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> Butterfly, thank you for the 12 months. Sure, and Kitty, thank sure. you for the 25 months. Argy, yeah. thank you for the prime sub too. I can't believe that. Little baby turned and in, turned into a whole person <laughs> so fast. Kids grow so quickly. It's actually wild. Um, hi guys, I'm stressed, but I'm good. It's fine. Hi, Brew. 
You got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I have this stream clip where I told you she was born saved. Oh, isn't that so wild to think back on? I can't believe that was five years ago. Oy. <laughs> There's probably a lot of people in chat who remember that too. <laughs> isn't that so weird? Oh my goodness. I only have a dog niece and I'm not complaining. Not bad. Oh, I was, so I was at my parents' house earlier, um, cause I, uh, well, Dan went to get a haircut, so I took him over there, and while he was getting his haircut, I went to my parents' house to play with the cats. And listen to this, okay? Nobody was home, except for me, and I think that was a big part of this. Because for the, I have not touched Frankie, the, my, the, uh, mom of the kittens. I haven't touched her in a couple months because she gets, she's a little bit, like, shy. She's always been kind of weird. Even when I had her in my house, she's, She's just a little nervous because, I mean, she's a stray that we took in, so she's still, like, getting used to humans. Today, I'm at my parents' house. All three cats came up to me. All three of them. My parents' cat, Lemon, who he's, you know, not difficult. He's a very needy cat. But but Sam and Frankie, the, the two other kitties, came up to me, and I was so happy. I was, like, uh, near tears over that one. I was like, oh, my God, Frankie's walking up to me. She sniffed my hand, and she sat with me while I was petting the boys. She doesn't want to be pet. She doesn't like to be touched that much. But she came up to us, and she sniffed my hand, and she rubbed up against me, and I was really excited. So <laughs> she's she's making really great progress at, like, being a pet. You know, she does like to be pet, but she really, she picks and chooses when and by who, you know, um, she's just quite nervous and shy. So, well, I mean, it makes sense, right? I don't know what she's been through in her life. She was a stray that had babies in a sewer and then got brought into my house, <laughs> you know? So, um, but anyway, I was pretty, uh, excited. So yeah, and she'll get there. It's only been a couple months, so. <laughs> I know the cat, right? She's like, I will rub again, rub up against you, but you will not touch me. <laughs> like, it's her choice. So, really, Brew, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. My my kitten Shrimp is very shy around strangers. Look at all this. Um, our our cat Shrimp is very shy around strangers. He doesn't really like to talk to anyone. Like, he won't really come out too much when there's people over, even my parents. So. She has boundaries and I respect that, yeah. <laughs> yes, she does. And I'm proud of her for it, as she should. Um, sounds like she's starting to be a normal cat. Look, but no touch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> There's paper bags on their heads because we have the We Wear Bags Neighborhood Action Plan on. I didn't turn it on. It turned itself on, but I'll let the ghosts wear bags. I don't really mind that much. It's okay. We have a lot of ghosts, so your orange cat hides when one comes over. Yeah, it's funny because my cat Snap is is very friendly and like will sit on a stranger's lap kind of friendly. Like as long as you want to pet and brush Snappy, she will sit on your lap and she will cuddle with you. Like no questions asked. Um, Sunny will come out now and like look at you from afar, but doesn't want to be touched by anyone. My new kitten. Shrimp hides. He stays, like, in my bedroom when people come over. So, it's kind of interesting to see, like, how different they are. Yeah, uh, Sunny let Hope pet her. Sunny was being kind of friendly and cute. And Shrimp came out towards the, towards the end when Hope was about to leave. Shrimp did come out and let himself be seen. <laughs> um, he showed his face to Hope, but... <laughs> he, he usually, um... He kind of just likes to hide. He, when my friends Sasha and Tom were over, um, Sasha and her boyfriend Zeus, they're both streamers, Vixella, um, when they were over, Shrimp was coming out and seeing them. Because they were here overnight, so they were here for kind of a while. Um, like, by the, you know, first night, he had gotten, like, comfortable and was coming out, so the next day he was hanging out with them a little bit, so that was good. Um, do you need a farm hand still? Oh, I could probably fire them, huh? The ranch hand? Ah. Oh, you're right, because my Sam's horse is dead. <laughs> oh, no. Are you even the ranch hand? Maybe you're just a random. Maybe I'll keep the ranch hand to help me with my crops. And I, No, 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 I still have... No, 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 I have goats. I have goats. We can keep them. I forgot I had goats. Maybe the ranch hand quit on their own. 
No, dismiss Ranchan. Okay, maybe the Ranchan will come today. Who's to say? Yeah, the horse died of old age last time we streamed. So. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. Why is the goat so big? Because I sized it up. There's two of them. Look. They walk kind of weird. Look, look, look. They're just more fun when they're sized up. Do you agree? <laughs> okay, um, can I cheat your needs? Oh, well, you're just eating on your own, that's fine. I'm getting a lot of I love them and that is terrifying. <laughs> I'm seeing some really conflicting uh, opinions here in the chat. I'm not sure what to make of this. Okay, I'm gonna get a bike and then try and teach Moss how to ride it. That's my next step, I think. Um, okay. So, which bike should we pick? Do any of them come in green? Is that a kid's bike? No! That's an adult-sized bike. What the heck? Why don't they have a green bike? Okay, ask for help with bike riding from your dad. How about that? Not so many goats. I love them. They're terrifying. <laughs> People want a both option. 85% says they love them. 84%, sorry. Oh, oh okay. My bad. <laughs> um, uh, Pedro and Cardigan and Cadet and Alicia and Gigi and Sulani and Tinker and Leonie and Spoon and Phoebe and Grant and Amaris and Herb. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Yeah, we're on normal lifespan. I was on short lifespan for a little bit, but I've put it back to normal lifespan. What are you doing? I put it on short lifespan for a little bit just to try and like, to be honest, speed through a little bit of time because they're, they're on, they just live for so long on normal lifespan. Too long. Too long. You can't get downstairs because you have no skills. Come here, kid. I'll teleport you if I have to. Sometimes you have to cheat. Okay, grab a serving. Everybody's got missing teeth. Um, oh, there's the ranch ant. <laughs> we thought they were a mermaid last time we played. <laughs> Cause they're always just going. It's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, are you stuck? Okay, sorry, sorry. Wait, is your family not gonna teach you how to? Oh my God. I thought your dad was gonna teach you how to ride the bike. No, don't teach Algie how to ride a bike. Come here. You come here too. It's a creative swimming cap. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting choice, the bag. Um. I actually would argue that wearing a bag on your head while swimming seems really unsafe. Yeah, the bike interaction, it's really almost impossible to teach them how to ride the bike is sort of what I've been learning. Maybe I should just give up and, and like have Moss ride it alone and then just cheat the learn to ride if we have to. I don't know how you learn to ride the bike, because you ride it in a, a long time and it doesn't make a difference, but whatever. <laughs> Lola, thanks for the 41 months, and Breezy, and Sophie, and Mystic, thank you for the subs too. They just never teach it. I think the teaching interaction is bugged. I want to do it because it's cute, and I think it helps them learn more, but it doesn't make a difference. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. Oh well. You have to hit level eight? Level eight? <sighs> okay. You've gotten it level 10 only? Interesting. Well, you know what we'll do is I'll, I'll make sure that Moss gets it and we'll experiment and see how it works. 
<laughs> we'll be the judge of that. I shall test it out. Do you want to go slide? Can you get down there by yourself? Yeah, the kids gain skills quite quickly, so it, it shouldn't be too bad to try and get the skill. They're not that slow about skill gaining. Okay, do you want to try and do some more gourmet cooking? Because you have to max the gourmet cooking skill, and you have the day off work today, so... We'll start there. Monkey bars help too. Yeah, I think any- I assume anything that builds the, uh, motor skill will help. Well, are you gonna freeze? Uh-oh. Hold on. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Please, that would be really inconvenient for me if you froze. We can't have that. We can't have that. <laughs> Cute stuff, enjoy! Thank you for the stuff, both of you. Ugh. It's not a level-based skill, takes a long time to learn, as you can see from the percentage wheel. Yeah, I mean, this- this percentage wheel isn't actually that long, though. Um, so I assumed, based on how people are talking about it, that it would be longer than this. Because we can finish this today. If it's just this. But, we'll see. We shall see. if I save recently? No, I actually haven't saved a single time. That's a good idea. <laughs> Kate, thank you for the 10 months. See, now someone in chat is saying level 6 motor skill, so who knows how it works. We're getting a lot of mixed... I don't know. We'll find out. We'll test it. They often give up while riding bike again for a while. Yeah, I know they give up a lot, because that happens to me when I have them trying to ride it, is they just stop. Look at how glitchy this this is. They just keep teleporting around. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Bar almost full. What's gonna happen? You had one sim try and teach his son to ride the bike in the kitchen! Oh! <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna cheat our bladder needs so we can see if it makes a difference. Angry. Biking is hard from struggling to ride a bike. Okay, now get off the bike. Try it again. Moss needs a moment. Ay, two hours? Okay. Princess and Algy can have a supportive family dynamic. That's cute. I'm okay with that. Do you want to come work on your homework, Moss? We'll do that too. May as well. Everybody bikes in their kitchen. Yeah. My siblings used to try to ride their, their um, what's it called? One of those rip sticks? It's like a skateboard, but... Um, Different, kind of. They used to- my- well, not siblings, plural. My sister used to try to use her ripstick in the house. I could never ride those. I was never capable of riding them. Um, I wasn't good at it. But they still have them. They still ride them around. On Christmas, we were all like out- oh my god. <laughs> On Christmas, we were all like outside and stuff. Um, and, and like playing games outside and my brother was like riding the ripstick around. I never could do it. I'm not the most coordinated um, or like talented in that way. So yeah, it's like a skateboard, but like both the sides move. It's hard to explain if you haven't seen it, but I can't do it. You did roller skates in the kitchen? Oh dear. <laughs> One time, hold on. <laughs> okay, imagine this. I'm gonna tell a story. This is a good example because my parents' kitchen is kind of like this. They don't have an island, but basically the oven, um, it's right next to like a counter in this way because they have like a peninsula kind of. Um, so one time, my sister, she's holding her hand onto the oven handle. She's got one hand on this and the other hand on the counter, okay? So she's like 
holding herself up like this. And she's like swinging back and forth a little bit on her little ripstick thing or maybe her skateboard, I forget. And I used to get so mad when she would skateboard in the house. I just, I was so mad at her for it. But she's like swinging back and forth a little bit on her little skateboard thing. <laughs> and then it like slips out from underneath her feet and she falls flat on her butt. And because she had her hand on the oven handle, <laughs> she pulled the oven door down and like hit herself with it. And that's what she gets for riding her skateboard in the house. <laughs> but I will never forget. I, I know that like, maybe you can't picture it, okay? But this was like the funniest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life at the time. And I, she deserved it. She deserved it. She was fine. And she deserved it. <laughs> what, what was she thinking holding onto the oven handle like that? That was dumb. <sighs> anyway. Lesson learned. She doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> this is one of the most big sistery things you've ever said. Oh, I mean, I'm a lot older than her. She's six years younger than me. So she's, you know, she's made some foolish choices. Um, and I've been there <laughs> to see it happen. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm just gonna try and see if Princess can finish the gourmet cooking skill today. Moss, are you done? You can stop that. Moss, I need you to come back outside and ride the bike again. She's not even here to defend herself. That's okay. I'll make fun of Shanna when I need to. <laughs> okay, this is what this is what big sisters are for. Your brother dropped a brick on your hand when you were children? Oh my god. That's horrible. Okay, you keep- are you okay? Were you okay? I only saw half your message, so I couldn't- I couldn't read the full thing. Um, when we were on Christmas Eve, I think it was- yeah, it was Christmas Eve. Um, on Christmas Eve we were like playing in the front yard, like playing wiffle ball. Um, I don't know, it's like a little baseball, but it has holes in it. They all play sports and I don't, so I'm not very good, but I was like, oh, 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 can I try? <laughs> and so my brother was like pitching to me and I was trying to hit it and I was doing a really bad job. That's unrelated. But just, you know, talking about my parents' house and being there this weekend reminded me when we were outside playing, there was a, an electric Amazon truck that came by and delivered to the neighbor's house. I had never seen an electric Amazon truck before, but apparently they have some now. And an electric one came by and delivered something. Do you want to see what a, a picture of one? I just Googled it. It looked like this. But I had never seen one of those before. So I thought it was really cool. <laughs> All of those are electric now? No way! Yeah, I, I was reading about it and apparently they're rolling out a lot more of them, but I had never seen one. Um, so it was new to me. <laughs> well, what is that? It's an electric truck. You have, they have them there where you are too? Interesting, yeah, they don't have any here. Or maybe they do, I just haven't seen one, I don't know. Or they're starting to pop up more, but um, I thought it was kind of fun. I think it's cool they're doing that though. Um, the blinkers look like a face. Yeah, electric cars always look kind of weird. Speaking as a person who owns an electric car, <laughs> <laughs> electric cars always look kind of weird. I think a lot of electric cars look kind of like little, it's like a cross between a robot and a toy car every single time. I I still, I think all Teslas look like toy cars. Like if you made like a, a fake toy car brand, I think that's what a Tesla is. It looks like a little toy car to me. <laughs> and it basically is. <laughs> Push a button, drive around. <laughs> Yeah, I think Tesla's are kind of ugly. They're very strange looking, like little bugs. <laughs> is the bike on fire? No, I don't think so. We're in the bush, so I can't see. What is that? Oh, it's a card. There's a card. Your electric car looks like a normal car. Okay, what kind of electric car do you have though? Because I think that, like, all of these electric cars, even, like, when, like, normal car, like, you know, regular gas car type brands make electric cars, the electric car always looks kind of weird. 
And I speak as a person who has one. <laughs> I just think they look funny. Okay. We're never gonna- it started this over. I don't know how you're supposed to finish learning how to ride a bike. I- riding bikes is so annoying in this game. Majestic, Sandra, uh, Kirby, and Rule, and Calzite, and Simstars, and Quinn, thank you for the subs too. Ay ay ay. ay. Okay, you wanna just go to bed? Go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, French, I've had my car for a couple years now. Um, like, a uh, no, like, almost a couple years. Not quite exactly. I had it for, like, <laughs> you know, like, a little over six months, and then it died in the post office parking lot! <sighs> the battery shorted. So when I say it died, I don't mean, like, oh, no, the battery died. I mean, like, it died. She said, I am never turning on again. And then I had to get it towed, and it was a whole thing. Anyway, otherwise I like it. <laughs> otherwise, it's, it's nice. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, that was actually really stressful for me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so... It died dead, yeah. Well, at least it didn't- I mean, it didn't, like, catch fire or anything, and I suppose it could have. <laughs> and they fixed it for free, so... <laughs> I mean, that's nice. <laughs> I had to call my dad and be like, Dad, I'm stuck in the post office parking lot. That was on Valentine's Day. And then when me and my friend Hope were in the park, well, Hope wasn't there, but she was texting me because, you know, I was panicking. We were like Googling it and it was like, yeah, this is known to happen in extreme cold weather. No. <laughs> so when I was trying to find like information online about it, that's all I was reading. And it's like, it was February in Florida. Like <laughs> I was wearing shorts. Uh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, do you want to do your homework? I kind of forgot to have you. Oh, you already did. Oh, good. Okay. Maybe I'll get some school projects again then. It's like maybe 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's not extreme cold. It got below freezing for like two nights in Florida last year. Uh, on Christmas, actually. I'm looking at the weather this week. It's actually kind of, I mean, it's chilly this week. Tomorrow, lows of 49 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold for us. I'm excited about it. Okay. Um, I want to get a couple school projects. Maybe one and two. It's rainy and gross. It's been rainy and gross all day here today, too. Kind of unpleasant. That's okay. I actually kind of like it when it rains all day, though. That's hot. I'm in Minnesota. <laughs> Says Minnesota underscore mates. I, I believe you and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, you just keep working on this. Honestly, most of the kids could probably just go to sleep. Everyone's kind of miserable, it's only 9.30. Yeah, Steph, I, it's been hot. It's been a hot winter in a lot of places this year. I find that kind of scary too, <laughs> but being honest. It's gonna be sunny on Sunday. Oh, bro, that's exciting. Do you have any plans? Are you gonna get out, try and do anything nice? Hopefully you get a chance to do something. It is cold still, but you know, <laughs> better than cold and rainy, so. You've had one snow in Colorado. Oh, really? Ooh. Oh, that'll be nice, Brew. That's fun. Oh, I forgot this Sunday is um, New Year's Eve. My plans for Sunday are um, to stream, <laughs> so. I think me and Dan are gonna go uh, go out for breakfast on Saturday morning though. We never we never go out to eat at restaurants and we never go out for breakfast because I don't like breakfast food, but um, it'll be nice. <laughs> My plans are to watch you stream. Nice. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna go out for breakfast on Saturday. So that'll be nice, I guess. Um Okay, maybe you could go to bed now, 1016. 
Breakfast is your favorite meal, really? Yeah, I'm weird about a lot of foods. I don't know. I don't really like most breakfast things. Um, I hope you got rest. He's gonna be busy. No, the place we're gonna go only takes walk-ups, um, but we're gonna go really early in the morning. <laughs> Um, the idea is that we're gonna go there and then go to the farmer's market afterward. So we're gonna go there like 8 a.m. or something <laughs> is the plan. <laughs> but you're, this place, they only take walk-ups and they get so busy. It's so weird. Like when you walk past them later in the morning at like around 10, they will be like lines out the door. It's not that good. It's not worth it. Like to wait that long? No. If you could get a reservation, maybe it'd be fine. But like to wait? No. No. And when I say lines at the door, I mean like lines out the door and kind of down the road. It's like 20 people in line. Like big. Very dramatic. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just stay home. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to go out though. Um, Susie, we are usually so similar, but not liking breakfast food is where we differ, really. My most controversial opinion is that I don't like breakfast food, apparently. I don't know. You love doing breakfast for dinner? My, apparently, my family does that all the time now that I've moved out. My mom used to never do that when I lived there. And now that I've moved out, my parents have breakfast for dinner like all the time with my siblings. <laughs> and they never did it when I was there. But I don't know, my, I mean, it wasn't like because of me. We just didn't really do it back then. I, I could think of like maybe a couple times that we ever did that when I was young and now apparently they do it all the time But I think it's because my sister really likes it. So um, It goes over well, but we just didn't really do it that often when I was younger, so Anyway, I'm not into it. I feel not liking breakfast so hard. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know Especially like the kind of breakfast you get for like a fancy breakfast not for me. Do you like sweet breakfast, like pancakes or French toast? No, that's the problem. I don't really like pancakes that much. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I would pick a waffle over pancakes. I, for me, I, I'm more of like a have a bagel and some fruit kind of person. Where I don't really want to have like big, big, big breakfast with like all kinds of stuff. But yeah, I prefer waffles over pancakes, I think. Yeah, and like a smoothie, yeah. I like avocado toast. Avocado on toast is good. Can't really go wrong. <laughs> Bagel with avocado, sometimes I make. Um, not every time though. Before you say you don't like breakfast, you have to try an English slash Irish breakfast. Okay, here's the thing though, Emma. I'm married to a British man. I've been there, I've done that. <laughs> I'm just not really a big fan of most breakfast foods. I don't know. Toast, like, like, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna say this out loud. Beans on toast is all right. Beans on toast is all right. I can accept it. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have beans on toast for breakfast though. Like sometimes me and Dan will have beans on toast like for like lunch. They, they put baked beans on toast. I don't know. Oh my god, this is my next most controversial opinion. <laughs> it isn't bad, it isn't bad. The British officially got her! <laughs> Somebody help Kayla, the British got her. Don't tell Dan I said that though. He can't know that I've like sided with him, that's terrible. Just toasted bread with baked beans. Well, well, I mean that's what I would do, yeah. But but like they they would have you know like sausages, maybe like bacon and stuff. Um, one time I went at a restaurant. Um, I got an English breakfast, and they gave me a whole tomato, a whole tomato. Just a to raw here is a tomato. And I'm sorry, but that no. <laughs> That's weird. Not cut up, no, just a tomato, a whole one. My family, says Christine. 
They might have like mushrooms, I don't know. Stuff like that. Anyway. They love to throw a full tomato in a salad too. I don't wanna eat a whole tomato. I'll eat tomatoes cooked in things, but I don't wanna just eat a tomato. That's one of the vegetables that I can't do. I, I will eat pretty much any vegetable, but like raw tomato and cooked broccoli. Those are my two. I'll have a raw broccoli, but no. <laughs> Tomatoes are Satan's veggie. Be careful. You can't say that here because one of my mods is called Mrs. Tomato. You might get in big trouble. <laughs> you have to be, you have to uh, keep your tomato opinions in check. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous for tomato haters around here. <laughs> you can eat broccoli raw. Yeah, a lot of people don't like raw broccoli. I don't like cooked broccoli though, I'll eat raw broccoli instead. Like sometimes when me and Dan have broccoli with dinner, we'll like put some broccoli for him in the air fryer and then I'll just have it plain uncooked. <laughs> but I don't like to eat it cooked. I don't know, there's just something about, I think it's like a hurdle I can't get over. I think that roasted is better than like steamed or something, but I still can't do it, so. <laughs> yeah, we've had this broccoli conversation recently on stream. I'm sorry for like talking about it again. <laughs> we talked about this like last week, probably. Okay, cook a gourmet meal again. I wanna try and max this skill. We're getting close. Yeah, I like asparagus. Asparagus is one of my favorite vegetables. I'll eat asparagus. I'll eat pretty much any vegetable except for cooked broccoli and mushrooms, but mushrooms aren't really the same, but you know, people serve it like a vegetable, so. You feel like asparagus and broccoli roasted taste the same? Maybe they do, I just can't get over the hurdle. I just can't do it. Why not mushrooms? It's a texture thing. I can't do mushrooms. I just can't. I don't know. My mom is a huge mushroom person. My mom, like her pizza topping of choice is mushrooms. She'll just eat mushrooms. Like, you know, you get like canned mushrooms, she'll just eat them. She loves mushrooms. I can't do it. I just can't do it. They're like rubber. It's so weird. I just can't. You're an olive person that same way? Oh, I see, I love olives. I'll eat, I'll, olives are my pizza topping of choice. I'll eat olives just for fun. But I can't do mushrooms. Every mushroom tastes the same to you. Yeah, and you know what maybe is part of it with the mushroom thing? Because I don't eat meat, right? Um, and a lot of times the like veggie option places is just a mushroom. Like this one time when I went to visit um, St. Jude, the children's hospital, uh, last year over the summer um, They brought us to like a barbecue restaurant because they're in Memphis and Memphis is like, you know Known for their barbecue and stuff and I was the only person who doesn't eat meat there um, So they had like special ordered me a meal <laughs> and I kid you not It was a mushroom about this big <laughs> and lettuce Nothing else It wasn't like St. Jude's fault. It was the restaurant, but I swear to you it was just a mushroom <laughs> Do you like mushrooms? Well, here's a big one. <laughs> but that kind of thing happens a lot. So it's okay. They had some other sides. Like the re everybody else was having like family style, like build your own like barbecue sandwiches and the beans were safe for me to eat there. So I had the baked beans and stuff. Sometimes they put lard in baked beans. So you have to be careful. Um, anyway. <laughs> One big mushroom, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, you have work in 39 minutes. Okay, I'll just hurry up and speed up then. So we can go there. Yeah, they have like carrots and celery sticks and places like that too, don't they? <laughs> or like corn. They usually have corn or something, so. Um, okay, let's join so we can try and get promoted. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, my brother and my dad are building their Legos they got for Christmas. They're sending me tech my pictures. <laughs> my, my dad just texted me, Brett has mad Lego skills. This would have taken me three weeks alone. <laughs> 
Uh, I got my brother and my dad both a, like a Lego set for Christmas. <laughs> and they're really having fun. They are really having fun. <laughs> okay, um, let's add some clues to the crime map, shall we? It's cute. What, Lego sets? Oh, um, forgive me for not being the most well-versed in the exact types. The one I got for my dad is like some car thing. It's like some Porsche race car thing. Cause my dad loves cars. He, he like watches car YouTube videos. Um, so I got him like, I don't know what it's called though, unfortunately. I'm the wrong person to ask. Um, and the one I got for my brother was like a, it's like a Mars Rover looking thing. Cause he, he likes space. So, <laughs> um, cars and space is what they got for Christmas. <laughs> okay, there is an APB available. I don't really want to... I might try and do some more cross-referencing of the database quick. Um, when my brother opened up his, he was like, I'm gonna stay up all night tonight and finish it! <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute. Anyway. Oh, that's nice, Brew. That's a good gift. I gave- I also gave my dad one of my old, um, monitors. Because my dad got a PC kind of recently. Um, so I gave him one of my old monitors, so now he has two monitors. So. I need the other one, because I, uh, do baking streams with it. <laughs> so I can't get rid of it. Um. Oh, really, Brew? That's nice that they had an extra massive curved one like that. This really was the year of re-gifting for you, wasn't it? <laughs> no, that sounds so bad, but like, I I got given, you know, like the slime from, from my sister. I gave my sister some of the slime I got for that sponsor. I did a monitor sponsor, so I had an extra monitor, like, because <laughs> I replaced mine, so. It was a nice monitor. It was only a couple years old. So. Sick of foos. And what else am I gonna do with it? I mean, I guess I could have like sold it, but if my dad can use it, why? You know? Why not? Um. Okay, I, I forgot to keep going. Oops, I was not paying attention to what I was doing. All right. Oh, you did in Valencia? Oh, that's so weird. I wonder what happened. Did my sister like the shells? Yeah, my sister, um, I, I also, my mods are making fun of me for re-gifting, but I, I gave my sister, because she wanted a bookshelf for Christmas. Um, she wanted, like, one of the Ikea Billy bookshelves, but our local Ikea was completely out of stock of the white one. Um, and, like, her other bedroom furniture, she has, like, a white Ikea desk and stuff, so she wanted the white one to match, um, and they didn't have any of them. And I was going to get a bigger bookshelf for my bedroom because I had outgrown it. And I had the like three high Ikea Billy bookshelf. So I just gave it to my sister because she wanted it and it was already built. So anyway, they were out of stock of it. So she got mine instead. <laughs> and that's good too, because now she has the exact bookshelf she wanted and she didn't have to build it. Or my dad didn't have to build it, let's be honest. So, how did you wrap it? Oh, I didn't. I, I gave her a card, and I, like, you know, said she's getting the bookshelf, and then I, like, dragged it out of my bedroom and showed it to her. <laughs> I didn't wrap it or anything. I just, I just gave her a card and said I was giving it to her. Um, hi, Dad. I was telling them how I gave Shanna my bookshelf that was already built. So. Okay, I'm gonna analyze this evidence, then I might, uh, travel to the crime scene. I think, I think that we'll be able to max this in, like, maybe two more days. That's the idea. We'll get these clues added. Add clues, add clues. Okay. No, don't deduce a new clue. Should I, should I? It wants me to travel to the crime scene? Yeah. Have I not done that yet for this one? I guess we may as well. Um. Okay. 
Oh, how to get rid of your Sims pimples because he's a young adult and they won't go away. Yeah, um, what you have to do, if you have high school years, this is a known bug. If you want them to go away, uh, you can like tick the setting in here. It might be under pack settings for high school years, enable acne. You can like enable and then disable it and then it'll go away and then you can put it back if you want. Um, my sim has that too, but I'm like letting her keep it because I kind of like it, so. Um, everyone, mods, can we get an additional two graves added to the list, please? <laughs> this is the crime scene. What do you expect me to do with this? There's nothing here. <laughs> uh, this would be a crime scene, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's two dead bodies and somebody stole everything out of the entire house. So yikes. <laughs> um, yeah, Euphoria, we, we have been doing that. I've I've been able to to finish basically this whole this whole case with only old clues. Because you can use the same clues again from the crime scene, like from the past one at the next crime, which seems like it shouldn't make sense, but that's how it works. Um, so I made it mostly through this whole task without having to go to a crime scene again, but I'm not too mad about it. I'm okay with trying to um, take evidence picture, take evidence picture. Grim stole it all when he took the elders. Yeah, maybe. Do you all live here? I'm sorry. You lived here and your only furniture were two urns. Hmm. These graves were Marissa and Marisol Keating. I don't know them. They're just randoms. Oh well. Oh well. Did you want to get the other witness report too? And then we can go back maybe? I don't know. Marissa? <laughs> Uh-oh. Moss got their grade up! Oh, good job. Did you not- why won't you- Oh my god. I will- I will leave now, actually. I've decided I have enough clues. I'm not too worried. Now we go back. Play through more of a career. I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> Detective career is glitchy and kind of boring. Oh, maybe she got stuck by the stairs. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Okay, well, we won't be going on patrol. That's for sure. I'll tell you that much. I can cross-reference the police database, though. Um. Oh, Ren, really? <laughs> that's actually really quite cool that you say that. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know, hard worker. I don't love the detective career either. I wish I, I wish I liked it more, but I find it quite repetitive. Um, and we're level nine, so we'll be done with this hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. We need to solve one more case. We have an APV available if we wanted to go. Maybe if we stay late at work tonight, maybe I can try and finish it if we try hard enough. Yeah, and we'll quit to be a comedian as soon as we max the skill. We have to, or the, the career, sorry. As soon as we max the career, we'll switch over and join the comedian career. Um, so. All right. APB, what do we gotta work with here? Oops, wrong button, sorry. Young adult, black hair, shorts, blouse, female, ambitious. Well, there's only one person here, so I can only assume that it will be you. So let's head back. <laughs> hey, Colleen, thank you for the 29 run free sub. And Luke is struck by lightning. And Annie and Lexi and Court, Ashley, Meg, Allie, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, yeah, this career is pretty easy and it's just so repetitive. I, I wish that there was like a little bit more to differentiate the levels and stuff. Like even once you max the career, 
and you become like the police captain or whatever, it doesn't really do anything different. Oh, it's not bugged. I can actually like interrogate the suspect without having to reload again. The past couple cases, I've I've been like glitched. The suspect wasn't even here, and I had to reload. So, okay, you need to be quick if I want to finish this before the day ends. Quick, quick. Okay. Tell a personal story, ask for information, show a witness statement, show fingerprint evidence, show crime pictures. You know what's pretty bad is I'm using evidence from a previous case. I, I'm using evidence from the case before this one right now. So that's no good. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this in time. We only have like 40 minutes. We'll have to come back tomorrow again. That's a shame. It's okay. This may be the last one though. Wait. I got you! Get confession. No, there's no way. We have to go home in three minutes. My heart is broken. It's okay. 2700. It's not too bad. <laughs> Joey, thanks for 28 months. So we're framing them? I Look, my sim has done some extremely questionable police work, okay? Recently, I arrested and interrogated a teenager who ended up being the wrong person. <laughs> and now this? Using evidence from a prior case? not good. We are the villain. Not intentionally. I'm not intentionally a villain. It's just sort of how it's working out. <laughs> okay, you pay the bills quick. Um, Moss buddy, do you want to come work on riding your bike again? I just need you to fix it. Yeah, French, I'll give your pronoun check. This is Lincoln. He uses he, him pronouns. We got princess, she, her pronouns. Moss, they, them pronouns. Uh, algae, he, him pronouns. Pickle, he, him pronouns. And pulp uses any pronouns. Pulp sort of um, transcends everything. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Um, I think you just gotta keep biking around. Come on. Oh, look, they changed their bike helmet again. They wear like a different bike helmet every time. That's kind of cute. Pulp is pulp, yeah. <laughs> um, have you fed the... Okay, we should be fine there. No, there's not really an option in cast for any pronouns. Um, you can't really do that. It's hard to even do like... Like, you can, technically, based on how you said it, um, do, like, she, they pronouns, for example. Because you set the pronouns, like, it gives you, like, some example sentence structures, and then you pick the pronoun, how it would work in there. Um, so I guess you could hypothetically, like, put different in all of those categories if you wanted to, but it's not really the same. I don't know, it's just, like, the game doesn't see it as complex as it actually is, <laughs> so... Okay. My kids are all over there. Do you want to go keep cooking so you can try and do some more? Oh, 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 hold on. Before I forget, we did get two more graves. I'm gonna need to, um... PD dot move objects on, and then also hit F5 so I can scoot that over just a smidge. Um... Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. That's okay. We have some more space to keep growing if we need to. Um, yeah, Jordan, uh, the pronouns, like, even with, with only the default pronoun options, as you've noticed, like, sometimes the text is quite weird. And it's because they had to go back and, like, edit all of the text individually to, like, sorry for yawning, <laughs> to, like, work appropriately with all of the new pronouns, and they, like, missed some. Um, so not, sometimes it, it like, the grammar structure isn't correct, um, of the sentences, but 
It's not like often, it's only sometimes that, that pops up, but you definitely see it on occasion. Um, okay, kid, you have to age up in three days is actually a long ways away. Is Pulp an elder? No, Pulp's only an adult. I keep giving Pulp age down traits, so as soon as Pulp becomes an adult, or an elder, sorry, I age back down. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Oh, did someone ask about Barbie? <laughs> Why do you have a pink bedroom with no pink air? <laughs> ouch! <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. It's too soon. <laughs> May Barbie rest in peace. And I'm really sorry for what I have done. Really and truly. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. I didn't know that you couldn't change the language because it's geolocked like that. Um, yeah, they, they still to this day have only released pronouns in English in this game. Um, they had like released it with the promise. Oh my God. They had released it with the promise of, um, who's on fire? Oh, <gasps> Moss? Oh no, never mind. Sorry, it's just algae. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Does someone have to? Oh my God! Help! Help! How did that even happen? <laughs> Oh my god, were you like playing with the fire? Like, what is wrong with you? No one is surprised that this happened to you. I mean, I guess potentially the rug caught fire, but... <laughs> oh! Who's... Oh my god, it's Princess's birthday. Yikes. Okay, everyone to sleep. Uh-oh. Why am I yawning so much today? What's going on? Everyone to bed. Everybody to bed, please. Everybody to bed. <laughs> Time for sleeping. Oh no, did you not finish the pizza? Wait, that was fun. Don't stop. Don't. No, no, no. Come back. If you're gonna make pizza, you have to finish it. <laughs> yeah, child sims can die in fires, um, which I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, but back to the pronoun thing. I was distracted by the fire, but um, they said that they were planning on adding them to other languages, but uh, obviously they haven't done that yet. I don't really understand why. I know that it's hard for them to comment on this stuff because like when you talk about it, it kind of opens like a whole can of worms. So there's like a fine line of when is too early to say something about it, you know, until you can give like more concrete information. Like if I was running a game, maybe I would want to wait until I had like a concrete release date to, to or like maybe closer to a concrete release date to start t talking about it again. But they have to do all of the languages separately. Like the process is kind of a big deal. So I, I don't know. I wish that they would give us some more like word on it though because it would be nice to know well, while we know they probably are working on it behind the scenes it doesn't seem like that because they haven't talked about it so i wish that they could like address it and say something or or just you know help but i am glad they even like talked about how they sort of discussed doing it just in english first knowing it was going to take a lot longer for other languages and like was it okay to release it just in english first and i think that was the right idea that they had to release it just in english first still even if it would take longer um hey cam thanks for the raid <gasps> do you want to see my graves <laughs> um i have 277 we got two more today uh it was all very exciting <laughs> Things have been going very well around here. <laughs> uh, I didn't kill them, I found them. Um, which sounds even scarier, but... <laughs> that's what we've been up to. <laughs> we almost had another. There was a fire in our backyard. One of our kids almost died. But I fixed it, so it's fine. So it's totally fine. <laughs> um, can you use he there? Because it's only be he him. Well, so that's kind of what we were talking about. You can with the pronouns. Um, I can show you real quick in Cass. Because um, with the pronouns, I don't know if you'd be able to full edit mode for this or not. So I'll just do it anyway. But um, uh, I'll, 
do it for this sim. Why not? Because you are not asleep. <laughs> um, but when you do the custom pronouns, you can like set it per a bunch of sentence structure examples. So it kind of like helps walk you through the process of how you would make custom pronouns. Um, so you see like this, it has like the subjective pronoun and then you could, you could change this to they. Um, and so you can kind of do this. Um, grilled cheese is his first love. So you can like basically like set it up so that they could use, you know, any pronoun and then kind of like set it yourself like this. But it, w when you do this, it just says custom pronouns there. Um, oh, it actually does say the kind of like that, but, um, it's just a little bit different than how you might try and describe it in real life, you know, but you can change all of these, um, you know. Set it all up like this. Um, yeah, all the examples use grilled cheese. <laughs> I do like how they did this because I think that this is a good way of making it obvious for people because not everybody knows what like, you know, reflexive and possessive independent means. So them doing it like this makes it very clear how you, and then they like show it to you that burnt grilled cheese is his. It makes it quite obvious how you can edit edits for you so you can see it. Um, can you write different words? Yeah, I mean, you could do anything. You could use neo pronouns that way if you wanted to. You could do anything like that. Um, you can always, you could do whatever, so. Um, but sometimes it, uh, sometimes it gets like a little weird <laughs> with the text boxes in game, but. Um, is that Granny? No, that was just a random ghost. So. <laughs> that was just a random ghost. Do I know if there's mods for other languages? I don't think that anyone has made a mod for the pronouns in the languages. It's, it's kind of a more complicated undertaking than it might seem at first glance because they have to adjust the text everywhere in the entire game. And it has to be done differently for every single language because all of the languages have like different grammatical structures that like change how pronouns work. Some languages are way more gendered than others. Um, and so like to do this is a serious undertaking. It also requires a lot of like uh, research and help from like native speakers of the language, you know? Um, so it's, it's kind of more of an ordeal than it might seem upon first glance to us. Um, to go through and make it. I mean, picture like how much text they have, all of it would have to be changed. So, and not just changed, but like changed so that it's able to be customized based on how the pronouns work. So, um, anyway, and it's kind of complicated because like that you sort of have to consult with communities of these places too, because in a lot of languages, there isn't really a lot of like, like neo pronoun use, for example. Um, surely there are some people, but it's, there, there might not be like a widespread general consensus of the best way to do it. And so there, it just takes a lot of research and time to figure out the best way to do it in the game. Um, like it's kind of a cultural thing that they have to find experts on to help them do. And so um, anyway, it's just a lot. So I wish they could talk about it more, but that's why. <laughs> um, Okay, everybody in bed, asleep. Also, I have to fix my rat's habitat. Moss, come do it quick. Come on. Yeah, it's all a positive change. And also, I think that like the research that they're doing here now, um, this is one of those things where like The Sims 4, the Sims 4 is very late to the game for a lot of stuff like this. Um, skunk passed away? Oh, that was my best friend from work. Oh, that hurts. Um, <laughs> but when The Sims 4 was made, um, The Sims 4 is, is built on like a very binary gendered structure. Like it just at its core, that's how the game works. And they've been doing a lot of work now today in like, you know, the past couple years to sort of undo that and, and make steps to make it less so that way. Um, but that's just like the foundations of the game are like that. So it takes a lot of effort to undo it. But now with this research they're doing and like what they've learned and the community feedback, I think that like the next Sims game, like Project Renee or whatever it's gonna be, I have hopes that from the get go and it better be because it's coming out, you know, probably in like 2028 or something. So it should be better, but I have hopes that they're able to build a better system from the ground up. 
and it'll work better long term. So anyway, it's just unfortunate because The Sims 4, they started making this game like so long ago. It came out in 2014, but they probably started working on it in like 2010, you know? Um, it's just, uh, it was, it was different back then, so. 2028? Well, there's, that was just an example. There, there is no release date for The Sims 5, Project Renee, whatever it's gonna be. I'm just assuming it's years away. There isn't any, like, news. Don't take me saying that as, like, some sort of weird, like, Kayla confirmed that- No, there's no- They don't even know when it's gonna come out. Um, the Sims team wouldn't even know. But it's, like, years away, so. Five years away? Maybe. <laughs> like, that seems not that weird to me. Um, but. A new Sims game 2028 confirmed! <laughs> oh god. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, I also don't think it'll be The Sims 5 out of what we expect it to be. At least it won't have, like, what I want The Sims 5 to have, just based on how they're talking about it. It's gonna be, like, a alternative Sims experience. I think it's gonna how they're gonna try and pitch it, and they're gonna try and have The Sims 4 and it running simultaneously for a little bit. So who knows? I don't know. It kind of stresses me out when I think about it, but... Hopefully it'll have some nice and, um, better stuff. Um, but... Anyway, they're- they're not even, like, actually developing this game yet. They're still, like, they're in, like, planning phases right now, you know? <laughs> so this is, like, so far away. So far away, unfortunately. Um, 2025 would make you happy? Oh, I know that would be fun if, like, a, you know, fifth-gen Sims game came out in 2025, but... Not even close. Not even close. Like... Like, closer to 2030 is probably what we're talking. <laughs> There's no way it's coming out next year, which is, it is next year, 2025 at this point, which is kind of weird to think about, but... Um... Far away. Worried if anyone else would be able to run it? Well, they're trying to make it run on mobile and, like, be cross-platform, so... What, what they're trying to do is make it, like, free to play and cross-platform and, like, run on everything and then charge you a million dollars for DLC and, like, pay for all the in-game content. But I, I think they're trying to make it, like, accessible to as many people as possible um, is kind of what they're seeming like they're going for, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me feel weird, too. <laughs> But <laughs> that seems like what's happening here. Um, yeah, the mobile part is what scares me too. I, I don't really... Yeah. We don't know enough about it for me to make strong opinions about it yet. And they haven't even made it. They're just talking about plans. I think the part about mobile that scares me is like, I, I worry that they're gonna give me like a mobile game product on... PC, and that's not what I want. If they could make, like, a Sims 4 style game still that can have, like, maybe a slightly lessened version on mobile, that would be fine and cool with me. And, mo like, mobile phones can run some, like, pretty big games these days. Like, they're getting better and better, and I can only assume they would be better by, you know, whenever this game comes out, but it just makes me kind of nervous. Um... Yeah, and there's things like lack of mod support to, to kind of keep in mind with this cross-platform stuff. It just makes you wonder how all that's going to work. Um, and just like the nature of this weird multiplayer stuff that they're trying to go for in general, I don't really know what to make of that. Like, there's just so many questions, but even they don't have the answer to these questions. Like, even they are still trying to figure out what they're going to do with this game, you know? <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't feel too worried about it yet. Because I, I know they're obviously so early in these stages, but... Anyway. We'll see. <laughs> the one game you play cross-platform has some issues with performance and has limitations because of the mobile aspect. Yeah, see? Like, I just don't really know what to expect out of it. I just, I think I also just cannot picture a Sims game like this. Like, the way that I play The Sims, the way that I like to build in The Sims, I just... I just can't see that working on mobile. Like, it just seems like it would be so annoying. Like, trying to, like, draw a wall with my finger or something. I just find, like, the idea of that 
to be really... It's, it's, I just can't picture it. So I don't really know what to expect out of it. I guess we'll see, but... Um, makes me nervous. <laughs> Um, anyway. Um, yeah, but a lot of games run on both mobile and PC, so it's not, like, that big of a concern. It's just, I, like, The Sims, I just can't picture The Sims in this way. Um. Need a mouse and keyboard and a real mouse on a touchpad? Yeah, I can't even use a touchpad to play The Sims either. I need a real mouse, too. Oh, God. Sorry, princess. <laughs> she became an adult at work. <laughs> In the middle of trying to interrogate a suspect. <laughs> Simsy, everything charm. makes you nervous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. You're I mean, you're absolutely not wrong, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering. If, if like if like the mobile version might have like a like a lessened version of the game where like maybe you can't do build mode but but maybe you could do like like live mode or maybe you could do i don't know maybe you could access like some parts of cast like maybe you could like do like outfit changes but not like face editing because i feel like it might be hard to get it right on mobile. maybe you could i don't know i just feel like it might have like a lessened version if they made a mobile version of the game, you know? Okay, well, I finished the case, so I've determined that that means I get promoted today because I'm ready to be done. <laughs> so I will spend the the rest of my day here working out or something. <laughs> Look, now she's sad because her birthday got forgotten. It's okay. <laughs> Chloe, Mel, and Miss, and Kira, and Copy, thank you for the subs. Ugh. But no one wants to use the mobile version. Yeah, but I, I think that they're trying to sell the mobile version because the way they were talking about it, it's like, oh, you know, maybe um, to, to give an example, like maybe you've got kids and, and you were playing at your PC, but oh, the kid woke up from their nap. So I'm going to go sit on the couch with the baby and then keep playing on my phone so I can keep working on what I was working on a little bit, but like not play the full thing. But like, like they're they're they were kind of selling it like you could like keep playing, or you could like sit together with friends and like play together somewhere in public. I think that's kind of what they're aiming for, but I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a well. I guess I could get a case assignment eventually. Maybe I will. Um, yeah, and like they're trying to they're trying to like get a bunch of new players that can play in different ways because they want you to spend more money on their DLC and get more people to spend more money on their DLC. So I don't know. You know what? I actually like this. The fact that Princess aged up today at work on the day we're gonna max the career because the the idea of this legacy challenge is that she has like a midlife crisis in this generation and quits this job and becomes a like a joke star like a comedian. Because she hates this job and she wants to do something else. Um, and I think that, like, her having a miserable birthday at work, <laughs> also the day she becomes an adult, is kind of good timing for this midlife crisis storyline, you know? Like, it actually kind of, it kind of fits. Okay. Yeah, she's going to switch to the comedy career and then she's going to get an actual midlife crisis, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, it's for the lore. It's a it's a story. I don't know. True. Human heart. Thank you for the eight month resub as well. Okay. Okay. Luke live Craig. mode, live mode. I've always Luke said live uh, mode, like you're living. Uh -huh. But a lot of people say live, like like the game is live and not paused. Um, I don't know. It kind of just depends what what your preference is. I think even like the Sims team says it differently because we all, you know, started saying it when we were kids and we were just reading it. <laughs> so there's a lot of different um, opinions, but I always say live. Will you stream Insoy or Paralyze as well? Well, Paralyze isn't coming out anytime soon. <laughs> I, 
I will play it when it comes out, yeah, but give it time. That one's gonna be a ways away. Um, <laughs> um, and that Inzoi game I'm curious about too. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. The Inzoi game worries me um, from like a, I don't know. It, it didn't seem very diverse and it had sort of a lack of like, um, hair texture swatches and I, I worry about like, you know, gender options and things um, based on the trailer of that game. So that makes me kind of nervous. I think it's really silly to release a game in 2023 or 2024 without those things, but um, we shall see, we shall see. Same thing like the skin tone swatches were quite limited. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. That was just a trailer, so maybe it'll be different. Um, but isn't it from Korea? Well, yeah, but I just, I people have been saying that in my YouTube comments, but I still feel like even saying that, like you're releasing this game to a global audience. Um, and I don't think that's an excuse to not, especially when you're trying to make a life simulation and releasing it to, you know, the whole world. Um, and, you know, we're moving towards this direction. And also like the, the audience of people who play life sims care about that you know? Um, so I just, like, I think it's quite dumb of them to not include it, because you think about who plays life sims, it's us. And it's important to us <laughs> to have these things. Um, so if they're gonna try and sell a game to us, like, I don't think it's very smart to not cater to that, you know? Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's not an excuse um, to not have those things, but... Um... Yeah, and that game, it was, like, hyper-realistic, the graphics of it, which kind of scares me. So I don't know. Um, let's browse the police database again. This is so boring, this last day of work. Ay, ay, ay. No, I haven't played Outsilver 2 yet. I still haven't played it. I want to play it. I haven't done it yet. Maybe we can try and play it, because I'm going to be live for a while on New Year's Eve. Maybe we can play a little bit of House Slipper 2 on New Year's Eve. Yeah, there's something about like the hyper-realistic graphics in games. I really appreciate how The Sims 4 is so stylized because I think that this makes it age better. Cause like, you, you look back on The Sims 3 and The Sims 3 had like realistic graphics in 2009. <laughs> and then you look at it now and it's kind of like, ooh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, but I think the Sims 4 design, like, ages a lot better, um, because it's a little bit more stylized and it's, like, just cool. Um, but I, I feel like these more realistic games kind of scare me. Also, a lot of them all look very similar. Um, same thing with, uh, Life by You. I think that Life by You looks kind of ugly, though. I don't know about that one. I'm curious to play it, but Life by You, it it has like ugh, the graphics in there. Also, a lot of the, can I show you what I'm talking about? Let me see if I can find a still from it. Um, Cause they were showing in like some of those trailers, like they had like some stills of some clothes. No, okay, this is what I'm talking about. To me, this looks like actually bad. Like, the way that the shirt looks. You know? Like, that just... Yikes. <laughs> it's, like, not... It doesn't, like, fit right. And, like, the clothes, they're, they all are just kind of... I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's cool that you can change the colors of them. Um... Yeah, like, doesn't adjust to fit the body appropriately. Like, there's just something about the shape that is, like, not fitting the sim. Um, and also, I always have hated this so much. Wait, you see how, um, <laughs> the zipper is, like, painted on? <laughs> Everything else is 3D, but the zipper is, like, flat paint. The undershirt is, like, completely flat up against them. Um, anyway that the game is not finished, obviously. Well, obviously the game is not finished, but it's almost finished. They had to delay the release of the early access by like six months. It was supposed to come out for us to play in September. Um, 
but that's just one example of many where the game looks ugly. <laughs> you can say, it's not done, but everything's ugly, so... <laughs> I'll still play it. I'm curious about it, but um, I just think that all of it looks not so good. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, it's a little bit closer than you think, that one coming out. They're releasing it in early access, um, so it's not, like, done-done, but the assets are not, like, the assets are the kind of thing that changes, you know? <laughs> the assets are the kind of thing that um, it's easier to make, so... Thought it was easy years to come. Life by you? No, life by you is a little bit closer to coming out. Um, is it because it's not what you're used to? No, I don't think it's a not being used to thing. I think that it's a. Uh, it's just a, I don't like that style. Like I think that that sort of extremely realistic, uncanny valley style, is just not really um, what I'm interested in. The life by you subreddit tone has really shifted to be more concerned recently. Oh, really? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'm not on that subreddit, so I haven't been reading what people have been saying about it. All I know is what, like, because I've been, like, kind of following as they're posting, like, videos and stuff. But I've been kind of out of the loop as far as what the community specifically thinks about it. So that's interesting to hear. Um, I don't know. The Life by You, that game to me, I... This sounds, like, really weird to say, but I don't think that they're... The, the audience they're appealing to is not even so much us. Like, that game is gonna be needing, like, pretty, like, solid computers to play on. Like, you're gonna need, like, quite the machine to run it. Um, and th the uh, level and kind of customization, like, with the the text changing and, like, all the stuff they're talking about, it doesn't seem like they're appealing as much to the Sims audience. Like, it, it's it's almost, like, too much for the average person who plays The Sims. Um, and so I'm kind of curious to see how that goes for them, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because, um, I don't know, I just... I don't think that a lot of us will use it seems so pro. Yeah, I don't know. It, it almost, it, it feels kind of similar. Like it's maybe targeting more of like the, the like city builder audience. Um, it's like they're looking for like a different market than us, you know? Um, reminds you of GTA. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, like some of the people who like to play that game. A lot of simmers will play it, but I, I think that like the average person who likes the Sims, um, might not be as interested in it. It doesn't have- yeah, maybe that's part of it. It doesn't seem like cozy game vibes in the same way that a lot of other games that I play are. Not just based on looks, but just based on, like, the kind of stuff that it sounds like you can do. Um. Anyway. We'll see how it goes. It's not done yet, so we'll see when it comes out what it's like. I'll play it. Like, I'm very curious to play it, but I don't- I just don't really see it becoming, like, a uh, everyday kind of game to me. At least not yet. But it could always change, so... I'm also not really interested in customizing, like, the way m the interactions of my sims. It also, um, don't, didn't Life by You, maybe I'm, like, conflating a couple of these and, like, combining them together, but was Life by You the one that isn't gonna have kids at first? Or, like, won't have, or was that another one? Because that does not interest me in the slightest. <laughs> like, I need to be able to have children like i like to play generationally so not having that is so so uninteresting <laughs> i i just don't care about that you know that's the toddlerless infantless sims 4 well yeah exactly that's like the problem right where we we did this and it was like the sims 4's biggest blunder <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. And they're releasing it in early access, and what that means is, um, they're releasing it for everyone to play when it's still not done. To, like, be able to have community feedback kind of help shape the, like, final stages of the game. A lot of games do this now. Not, like, early access for, like, a creator, but early access for people who pay, um, to buy the game early, and you just know you're buying it early before it's done. Um, but even then, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious to see how it turns out, I guess. 
A life spanning no kids would be the dumbest thing ever. Well, yeah, I don't know. That's part of why it feels like a complete forgetting of what the audience cares about. Like, it's not, like, appealing so much to the correct audience. You're right in saying that it's early access is a good way to get testing done. We just maxed the career, thank God, so we're done. <laughs> I can quit! <laughs> yes! Um, but... It says right family on the website. Well, maybe I'm lying then. Maybe they do have kids in the game now. I'm, there's a bunch of life sim games that have been announced and none have come out yet. But there's a whole bunch of life sim games that have been announced recently. So I might be like misremembering and combining a few of them. Um, but. Um, okay, well, now we've finished. <laughs> Happy birthday, my friend, princess. You are in luck because you get to quit your job. Look how relieved she looks. <laughs> you see how happy she is right now? <laughs> now you get to quit. Yeah, it'll appeal to more of like those people. A lot of people like to do like role play type of content. And I think that those people will really enjoy life by you. That's not really how I like to play the game though. So I don't know, we'll see. I quit my job. Okay, so next we have to join. Let me really quick look and see which is the one. Do I have enough points? No. Okay. I wanted to see if we could get um, like a head start from some traits in the career, but it's okay. And look, she's playful now. She is ready to be a comedian. <laughs> Congratulations, you are officially an entertainer. Um, we are level one, amateur entertainer, yikes. <laughs> okay, you wanna join the comedian branch and write three comedy routines. Um, there's a horrendous Life by You video and mods for later. Oh no, should I watch it now? What on earth? I hadn't seen this. This is a game that's gonna come out today. The way those, the wrinkles looked, they skipped past that quick on purpose. That's like painted on. This hair texture, all of the hair texture. It's like the sim is not a priority. It's so weird. Do you see what I mean though? And this game, isn't Life by You coming out of early access or into early access, sorry, in March? March 5th. The texture on the hairs, all of the hairs, the textures is like. <sighs> and it's gonna, like, this is, the, that's not gonna change, like. Anyway, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, it just makes me nervous. I, 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 I feel like it's not gonna, that's just not gonna cut it. That's a game called Life by You. It's not out yet. Um, it's supposed to come out into early access in um, in March. I'm gonna give, sorry, I'm just looking up the career outfit cheat because I wanna change, oops. I wanna change our career outfit because I don't like this one. Did they go back to The Sims 3 for inspiration? <laughs> it looks just like The Sims 3, doesn't it? Raining. Oh God. <laughs> Does this have like a peachy color to any of the outfits? 
No, I do actually not hate that, but... Sims 3 was better than that. Sims 3 actually was better than that. Pink and orange. Okay, something peachy for us to wear as a comedian. It doesn't have to be like that peachy because because this is just our like career outfit so it's kind of okay to me if it's you know not perfect because she's not gonna wear it like all the time clown outfit you want her to wear a clown costume for her career outfit really Well, that's interesting and different. Maybe she is a professional clown. Maybe she is a professional clown. Okay. We quit our job as a detective to become a professional clown. Should I wear this? You want the tragic clown outfit? Isn't the tragic clown one sad though? Wait, I actually like it. Maybe she does like, like birthday parties. <laughs> Maybe she goes to like kids birthday parties. I don't know, that's the tragic clown face paint. Hmm. You can be sad. I like her. I actually don't like the clown face paint at all. Can we have butterfly face paint? Oh, wow. You know, I don't look at the face paint very often. Is that one better because it has an actual nose? I think that might be better. Ooh. Oh, the highlighter we got? I always forget about this highlighter because it's in the face paint category. It is nice, isn't it? Oh, I need to use it more. An eyeball ring? Oh wait, we can do that. <laughs> Okay, talk about a midlife crisis. Okay. We could use some cuter clown makeup, I agree. I don't think that more clown makeup is a priority for them. <laughs> Which, fair enough. <laughs> Corinna, Dad, and, and Vini, and Matthew, thank you for the subs. Hugo, thank you for the bits too. Should dress her in a princess outfit so she could do birthdays. Oh my god. Well, okay, so for her next promotion, I'll put her in princess clothes. So she'll be a clown right now. And then her next promotion, when we give her a new outfit, we'll put her in a princess outfit. And she'll do like birthday birthdays as a princess for kids. Every promotion she gets a new costume. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, let's make some more of this. Congratulations on uh, finishing your horrible job that you hated though. You have to write jokes and practice music now. You need to write three comedy routines. So I'll have you do that after you finish cooking. Moss, you have to keep riding your bike, unfortunately, kid, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, there's my goat. We could be a pirate for one of them. Oh, that'll be fun. Isn't there like a fairy costume even? Where's your bike? Guys, Moss's bike is missing. Moss's bike is missing. Did somebody else take it? Didn't I have it over here? Oh, it's over here. 
Got it. No, it wasn't in our inventory. Yeah, it even has fairy wings, the fairy costume. Hmm. We can do that too. All right, I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm excited now. Where is Algie's homework? Um, they probably did it at a desk somewhere. Um, uh oh, sorry for yawning. Why do I keep yawning today? I don't know where it is. It's okay. I'm gonna save my game. No, Tori, you lost progress because it froze. Okay, everyone, if you have The Sims open right now, and I know a lot of you do, stop. Save the game. This is serious. It's not a suggestion, it's a demand. <laughs> Stop and save your game if you're playing right now. <laughs> Even if you did like five minutes ago, do it anyway. <laughs> Everybody's like, I'm in cast. Leave cast and save the game. <laughs> save your sim or something. You never know. Why can't we save in cast? Remember in The Sims 3 how you couldn't save in build mode? That was horrible. I'm only starting, I can't save. Okay, you're fine then. If you're just starting, fine in cast, that's okay. Um, would you like to compose a short routine next? Yes, you couldn't save in build mode in The Sims 3. If you wanted to save your build, you had to go out of build mode. Like if you were just building, 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 and you said, oh, I'm gonna save, it would say, no, you can't. And then you have to go back into live mode and then save. Dead serious. Makes no sense, right? <laughs> Isabel, thank you for the 24 month resub, by the way. Thank you so much. <gasps> Learned how to ride a bike. Oh, Moss. Congrats. Where? Whoa. Look at you go. You parked in the middle of this bridge. Okay, let's go back home because you have to go achieve level six of the mental skill so we can work on that. Congrats, Moss. Sims 3 Uni just downloaded after a month of trying. It took you a month to get that pack downloaded? Moss uses they them pronouns, Quill. Thank you for asking. Um, okay. Oh, look at Algie and his little flippers. That's cute. All right, kid. Do you want to work on anything else? Slide, slide, slide. Oh no, don't slide. Just go to bed. You're tired. Sorry. Sorry. Um, okay. Moss is non binary, Sherry. Moss's mom, Princess, is trans, though. Um, okay. You just keep writing. Can you stop talking to me? I'm sorry. That's really mean, but. Moss is going through a phase. They're feeling a bit clingy. See, this is what I was talking about earlier with like the pronouns being kind of weird. They's feeling a bit clingy and is going to stay extra close to their favorite caregiver. It's just like some of the text needs some, some updates, I suppose. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> Why do I keep yawning now? It's like I said it and now it's nonstop. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, you take a shower, kid, and then you can go to sleep. Did you finish the comedy routine? That's one. We have to write three of them. That doesn't count as me. Can I say I finished this? I, I wrote a whole comedy routine. That should count as me writing jokes, right? Um, compose another short routine. Um. Try opening a window if you can't. What, right now? So I'm not tired anymore? It's raining. <laughs> well, Daisy. And also, I'm scared of opening a window in this room because I don't want the kittens to jump out of it. <laughs> They're not even in here, but <laughs> I'm on the second floor. I'm scared of that. <laughs> as soon as, listen, <laughs> like, as soon as I open it, who knows what could happen? <laughs> it's a reasonable concern. <laughs> Oh, this light show is from the deluxe edition of the game. It's it's just a light show. It's kind of weird, but that's what it is. 
Um, okay, we have work at 9 a.m. Hopefully we can get promoted tomorrow quick. That's my goal. Do the cats go outside? No, my kittens don't. And no, there is a screen on this window, but I still get nervous. I don't know how, I don't know if it's a, it's, it's not safe. It's not safe. Like the babies can't fall out the window. They can't be trusted. It just makes me scared, so. <laughs> I do have screens in the window though. Um. Hey Raven, thank you for the gift of subs. Thank you so much. Yeah, Sunny is too small. They're all just babies. We can't risk it. It's not safe. Um, okay. As soon as you finish that, you can go to bed. How about that? You have the same fear as me? Yeah, the thing is, it's not even like that unreasonable of a fear, so... It's, it's just good to be careful, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, they have claws. Who knows if they could, like, what if they, like... Sometimes Sunny will stand and, like, put her fingers up against the window glass. Like, what if she does it to the screen and then, like, what if the screen pops up? I don't know. Scary, scary, scary. I don't want her to get hurt, so... Go to sleep, everybody, please. Okay. And save the game again. Just to be safe. <laughs> Just to be safe. Also, hi, Dad. I saw you type in chat again. How are you? Did the kittens sit with Damalay streaming? Yeah, they do sometimes. Sunny likes to sit on the cat tree in Dan's office more than the one in here. Um, shrimp is in here. Oh, this must be Algie's, uh, homework. There you go. That, we thought it was lost. We found it. Um, Sunny likes the cat tree in Dan's office better than the one in here. Shrimp likes it in here, but he hasn't been in here when I'm live in a while. Sunny was in here, or was it shrimp? No, shrimp was in here today. Sunny was in here yesterday. Like, 20 minutes before I went live. As soon as I'm about to go live, it was like 3.58. I go live at 4. Shrimp left. He was there, sitting on my cat tree. I don't know if you can tell, but... I have a little cat tree right there. He was sitting right there. Ditch me as soon as I went live. So rude. So, so, so rude. Yeah, Sunny and Shrimp are fine. I was worried because I had to go to the vet with Shrimp on Tuesday. And I was nervous she was going to forget who her brother was again. But when she forgot about him, it was only because he smelled different from his surgery. And it only took her like three days to recognize him again. And she didn't, he didn't smell bad this time to her. So she didn't forget him on Tuesday. Thank God. But it took her like three days to remember her brother um, and stop being mad at him after he came back from his surgery. <laughs> um, but he smelled stinky. He was stinky rotten shrimp. But it, it, it just took her a couple days to get used to him again. And he smelled bad, so. <laughs> Small reptile, thank you for the six month resub. Sunny chickens, are you calling my cat a chicken, dad? It's actually messed up and you're not wrong. She is a bit like a chicken. <laughs> it's almost Moss's birthday. Oh my goodness, we have to finish the aspiration. Go 12 hours without a negative need moodlet. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll take care of it. <laughs> She's just a baby. She's a little chicken-like baby. That's all. That is all. Do you want to see a really funny video of shrimp? Hold on. This is from earlier. I'll show you. Dan was filming him earlier when I was recording and then he sent it to me and it made me want to cry. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up for you. It, in this video, it's like Shrimp really wants to play, but he's too tired to play. So he's like laying there, trying to play with his tail, but being too tired to go all out. He wants to play with it so bad, but he's too sleepy. And then bath time. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Oops. Anyway, I thought you would like that one. Thank you, Shrimp. Very, very, very cute. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> Birdie, Buffy, thank you for the subs. Oh, you broke my computer? 
Piper Potts. Oh my god, that's the legacy founder. Well, I guess if she wants to break it, she can. This is the person- this is the Gen 1 sim. Moss is Gen 19. Wow, that is so weird. I'll show you. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on. It's gonna take me a bit to get back there. Um. Jam. Trent Carson must be you. Piper, there you go. This is her. Ignore the drowning thing. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? Wow. She was our first ever pond victim. It was an accident. Moss, you actually have to meet her. This is kind of important. We should get when Moss has a kid, because that'll be the Gen 10 sim. We should have, we should make sure that Moss's kid um, gets to know Piper. We'll get like some photos of the Gen 1 and then the Gen 20 together. That'll be kind of cool. Tell make believe story. Give fake bad news. Discuss fractions. I don't know. That's so weird. Oh, she has a bag on her head because there's a, um, a We Wear Bags neighborhood action plan in place. <laughs> so everybody has a bag on their head. I will literally cheat our relationship. Just because I think it's fun. Bring her back to life in Gen 20. Could you imagine? That would be a really funny side quest. Maybe not Gen 20, but what about in like... Gen 21, because we wanted to play 26 generations, so we, so we did a whole alphabet legacy. What about after we finish Not So Berry, we try and bring Piper back to life? <laughs> we get our Gen 1 sim back? <laughs> after all this time? That might be kind of fun. We could use the Nectar! Oh, yeah, she got kind of robbed as the, the legacy founder, because, so when she died, um, I was telling my chat, this is like the, the origin story of this shark pond. I was telling my chat, I was like, yeah, listen, you can die in this shark pond, but I've never had it happen to me. I like, I even tried sometimes and it's never happened. Watch this. Like when you jump in, you can maybe die, but it's never happened to me. I clicked, I have my sim jump in. Guess what? Dead. Immediately. First try by accident, killed my legacy founder. She had like four kids. Then, later on, her son has grown up. Her son has like four kids. I'm telling Chad again, you won't believe what happened to his mom. I've never seen a sim die in this pond. It's never happened to me before. I have, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like telling Chad, it's never happened. It's so rare. Watch this, he'll jump in, he'll be fine. He wasn't. He died too. And then I had to raise all of his kids with just one sim by myself. <laughs> I killed two legacy heirs in a row with this stupid shark pond. Um, and then that's what started all of this. <laughs> and that was the beginning of it all. <laughs> oh, the good old days, the good old days. The fish was hungry, yeah. So the fish, I mean, they deserved it. Are you still sad about skunk? Yeah, you have 18 hours left of this. That's fine. Do you want to woohoo with your husband? So, oh, never mind. Can you start it? I would like for you to woohoo so that I can fix our fun need. Or our social need, I mean. Please. Oh, wrong shower. That's fine. <laughs> Great! <laughs> oh yeah, the goat, don't worry about it. Is this the original clip? Oh my god, wait, I'm kind of curious to watch this. This was so long ago. Hold on. Stock it with... I don't have enough money for sharks. 
Cheat for them. Add piranhas then. Yay! No, it said sprites, not spiders. Oh, it's deep. What? What? How did that happen so fast? I've never seen that move so fast. I was doing it as a joke. I didn't know she was gonna die that fast. <laughs> well, that wasn't very smart of you, was it, Kayla? Look at how early we were in the legacy. I had 196 simoleons. We had a tiny house. I, like, this was a disaster. <laughs> the way I started screaming and you couldn't hear me saying, like, you couldn't even understand me. Oh my god! <laughs> um. Oh, and the old house as well. So funny. <laughs> we had no graves yet or anything. She was the first grave. What on earth? Look at the... What a strange pairing of those chairs with that rug. I actually want to see what that would look like because that is a weird combo. I think the front of them isn't as patterned, so maybe it's not as bad. I had... It looks like... What swatch of this rug was it? Oh, it's the one with the orange. I had that, and then the paranormal stuff, chairs. Doesn't that seem like a really weird combo? Was I using that swatch? No. I keep looking at it because I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe I had that swatch. I guess that's not too bad. The back of it looks kind of weird, but it was up against the wall. This is okay together. Interesting. Yeah, I've never used that combo before. I guess I did. I kind of forgot, though. <laughs> I, should, I should try it again. We should use that chair more often. It actually has some kind of cool swatches. Not ones that would match us here, but maybe our blue house can have this. In the blue not so berry house. Oh, here's the second death. This was the second one. Wait. I wasn't even speaking. I had twin. <laughs> I had twin babies outside. I'm gonna cry. Not again. This is the second time this has happened. Oh my god. I was doing it as a joke! Oh my god! I said the same thing last time as well. Look! I had twin toddlers and twin- <gasps> I had twin toddlers and twin babies. That is so, so cursed. That is horrible. Oh, I did not deserve that. Maybe I did. I, I, I was asking for it, wasn't I? God, I don't know what it didn't mean to. What was that, Kayla? I don't know what it didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. You can't even understand me. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, the good old days. I'm not putting my husband in the pond. Should I put my husband in the pond? Wait, <laughs> what if I did it? What if we just, what if we just wanted to see? What if we just did it to see? Hold on, I'll save first. It's been a while. My dad said yes. <laughs> My dad thinks I should feed him to the sharks. He might not die. It's, I found that it's more likely when they are in a bad mood. Like if they're having like some rough moodlets, it's a higher chance of happening. It <laughs> He was in a fine mood a second ago. Didn't he just woohoo? Why is his fun so low? Okay, we're fine. He was fine a second ago. It switched. It switched into a bad mood. Oh my god. Okay. 
Princess is working hard. You can study hard. You can watch TV. <laughs> See, he's fine. He didn't die. Everything's fine. Need another shower from mediocre shower woohooing. Well, that explains why their fun didn't go up. <laughs> well, throw him back in the pond. Problem is, Dad, he's going to work in a minute. He has work at 10. I'll do it. If he dies, I'm going to be really mad at you. I think he should be fine. Yeah, he's okay. Sometimes you gotta jump in like 20 times before they die. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, we got performance gain small and 50 extra simoleons. Send to daycare. Would you look at that? Everybody's off at work and school. We get to be by ourselves for a little bit. Huh. Can we invite someone over to murder? Um... I have the ranch hand and my maid, but I don't really want to murder either of them because I need their help. Who are you? Oh, this is just a random person. Hold on. I didn't know this person. So I can kill him again. I brought their grave here to my house. I didn't even know them. You were dead and in college? with an F and you're on probation. Wow, I've never seen anybody have that. Oh, the baby's home from school. Here, I'll just cheat these because, oh, Pulp needs a bath. Okay, I'll fix that too. Hold on, just really quick because everybody's gone and I have a sim here. Well, maybe because they died. Because I mean, like, I guess that makes sense. Being dead is, is a surefire way to not go to class, so. I guess that works out. <laughs> I suppose I'm not surprised. Oh, I like your outfit. Interesting choice. Well, here's a fun little, um, fun fact. Oh! Well, now I've got an extra grave. <laughs> Uh-oh, the kids come over here. It's okay, it's okay. The kid has to learn. The kid has to learn. He needs to know what to expect out of this family. It's important. Okay. How did that happen? Oh, I was just showing everyone how it works. It's a, it's a random sim. I brought her back from the dead just so I could kill her again. I don't know where her other grave is. It'll it'll be somewhere in this pile. I wouldn't I don't really care to go through and look for all of them. Um brought back to life just so I could feed her to the sharks. Okay. Whoa! Sorry, everybody about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> it's because I sized up my goats. So when they get picked up, they get like really picked up. 500 pages just typed. Dad, I am fast at typing, but I really didn't type that much. Just then, all I did was type like one sentence in front of everybody. So it's okay. Did you size up the goats so you don't lose them? Yeah, that was part of it. I'm gonna have to have someone give a bath to Pulp as soon as they get home. I can't even see Pulp's face. Hello. Scary. No, you can't size up Pulp, otherwise I would. That would be fun. What do you want? Pulp was one of my most used, it was like one of the top three emotes of my, my entire Twitch chat last year. 
And it's because of times like this. <laughs> when everybody just spams the pulp emotes in the chat. <laughs> it got used something like 70,000 times or something like that. <laughs> pulp cam. Wait. <laughs> I'm imagining an idol stream. But it's only pulp. You know, like the 24 hour Sims and Paws stuff I've done? Wait. <laughs> what if what if it's an idol stream, but it's just pulp? Okay, I'm writing that down. Cause that is actually that would it's so dumb. Like no one cares to watch that, but it'll be really funny. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm, I've written it down. Pulp unpaused, you know? One sim and seven pulps? Wait, 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 imagine that? We get like a bunch of pulps and they all have different like colored collars on. Idol stream, but make it pulp. Okay, and we'll build like a little room for pulp with like toys and other various things for pulp to do. Okay, wolf pack challenge, but just pulp. Pulp unpaused, <laughs> but with like P A W paw. <laughs> Stop. Hold on, I'm writing that down too. <laughs> I'm gonna use that as like an incentive for one of my charity streams. I'll say, oh, I'll do it if we raise like, you know, $5,000. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we'll do it. I think that'll be kind of fun. Okay. We did get promoted. We don't have work tomorrow anymore. That's okay. Um, oh, our clown days are over. You know what time it is? It's time to dress up in a princess costume. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Emily thanks for the 27 month reset, by the way. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Princess costume. So the idea, right, with this is that my Sim, she is in the whoa. Whoa. She's in the entertainer career. She quit her job as a detective to join the entertainer career. And um, in the time, oh, wow. Oh, wow. She can wear a wig. It doesn't have to be peach colored for this. But she quit her job as, as a detective so she could do an entertainer career. And we've been dressing her in different costumes for each career level. This is the second one. <laughs> Aoife, thanks for the tier 3, 13 months, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, so before, she was a clown for a little bit. And now, I... I don't know. Someone in chat says she works at Medieval Times. <laughs> else said fortunately for other sims she quit the detective career <laughs> yeah anyway this is princess peach she can have her eyeball ring back i feel as though we should keep it do you think a different hair swatch would match better i guess that one has like the that color matches our of the flower matches our outfit better okay this is kind of giving Penelope Featherington <laughs> with the yellow <laughs> in the hair. Dress is not even pink. No, she has um she has a little bit of peach in it. Penelope Featherington is from Bridgerton. Um so <laughs> What about yellow hair? I guess she could have yellow hair. Let me see how it looks. Oops, that's not yellow. Oh, she could do that one. That's horrible. Oh, wait, you're not supposed to change. If I do, am I going to ruin her hair swatch? Ah! Guys, I ruined everything. Hold on. You can't mess up the hair swatches. It's not smart enough. I may have to do it again. We'll see if she's still in it. Only Snowy Escape hairs work for us because it has the Snowy Escape ones are the ones that I have the recolors of. But she can have. Maybe she doesn't have to change her hair. She won't be in this level of the career for very long. 
I just put Knox Greenberg into the pond. Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that I could, I could be inspiring to you all, you know? Every day I wake up and I say, wow, I just, my goal is to inspire people. And every day I'm lucky enough to do just that. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna modify the career outfit so I can fix her hair. <laughs> yeah, the other hair swatches are a mod. I have, um, it's, it's some CC recolors. I have only a couple of them and they're from a person called Noodles CC, but awesome. there's a lot of people that make really recolors. Up. Oh my gosh, I keep yawning. I'm so sorry, everybody, for my ridiculous yawning. I'm probably really ruining your day with all this. Um, okay, let me get this hairstyle back and I'll put it back to my peach color. And what I'll do is I'll give her like the crown or something. And that'll have to go, that'll have to do. What is wrong with a queen having hair like this? What is wrong with this hairstyle for a princess costume? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this hair. It's very regal. <laughs> okay, that should be fixed now. <laughs> Rose is actually 22 months, by the way. Oh, there is that like Princess Leia hair in the hat category. That's true. That is true. Well, we have a crown now, so this will have to do. <laughs> Just join what's going on. Oh, we're, um, so my Sim recently quit the detective career. Boo, detective career. And we have joined the entertainer career. Um, and now, uh, she is getting new outfits for every promotion. So, um, yay. <laughs> Okay, the toddler is back by the pond, so that's alarming, to say the least. You, thankfully, don't have work tomorrow. You have, you need level two of the guitar or violin skill. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I've been working only on piano. We have level, f oh, I'm level four, that's not too good. Yeah, there are actually a lot of really fun costumes in this game that we can use. Um, Moss did also finish this aspiration. I don't know how much time they have left. Two days? Mm. We can see if maybe we can get this one. You want to stomp playfully on a splash pad. Hold on. I have an idea. I'm getting a splash pad. No, not splash of color rug, rugs, splash pad. And I wanna get one of those little lights too. The orange one is playful decor. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is um, enable the emotional aura and turn this on. Don't bike here, oh my God. No, 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 no. Just go here. And I'll have them splash for a sec. I need to get the stomp playfully thing. Oh, you're too hungry? No, you're not. And you're not confident either. Oh, yay! Let's stomp playfully. <laughs> that is a splash pad in their bedroom. Yeah, Christine, thanks for asking. You need to become friends with three other children. Oh my god. Well, does your brother count? Tease about crush. Ask for typing tips. Do we have cousins? Oh, we do have cousins, don't we? You have four kids now? Where did you get all these rest of them? I only saw, the, I've only knew about two. Huh. Well. <laughs> Listen, I'm a little biased, but in my opinion, that is not the correct way to spell Michaela. 
do I have any reason to, to think that way? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because my friend needs it back on. Maybe it's because my name is literally Kayla, but anyway. <laughs> You too. Oh. What? Did that just count? Well, that was weird. Okay. Now you need level five social skill and to ride a bike for four hours. How did I finish that so easily? We can try and get you to talk to your sibling to get your social skill higher. Do an impression. Monkey around. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people named Michaela, and they've all spelled it differently, too. I, I was trying to make a joke about how I would spell it K-A-Y-L-A. <laughs> but, you know, given that is my name. <laughs> I'm, oh, the puppet show thing, that's a good idea. Given that is my name. Um, I guess no one is surprised that I would spell it that way. Um, puppet. I'll put it like right here. I don't know if it comes in any peachy colors. I, I'm afraid that, oh, we could probably get it in green though. Cause this sim is part of the green generation. Perform a puppet show. We just need level five and we're almost there already, so. We'll try and get that. It's it's quite easy to finish these these aspirations, the smaller ones, the new ones from growing together. So I will gladly work on this. Look at that going up. Yeah, I always forget about this item too, but I made a video uh, with the romantic, no, not romantic garden stuff, with the kids room stuff pack this week. And I realized it's actually kind of a fun item and kind of a fun pack, so. Come on. You sell that, sell that, feed a treat, I mean. I think tomorrow I'll have you ride your bike for four hours after school, but I'll just send you to bed for now. You're still working on this. I'm gonna make you stay up until you get level two. Hot take, but I hate when people with the same have the same name as me. That's my, not yours. Get your own, says Jonathan. <laughs> uh oh, Alan is showing signs of growing old. I don't know that many people with my same name, um, but one person I know with my same name is like a very dear friend of mine. So I don't think I have. I don't think I share that opinion. Bad news for a person named Jonathan, though. <laughs> Common. <laughs> Common name. A lot of people have your name, but very few spell it the same. Oh, really? Do you do you like that? That your name is spelled a little differently? Or do you dislike it? I know, because my sister's name is Shanna. Um, which isn't... I mean, it's not common, I would say. But everybody always tries to spell it wrong. She gets called Shannon and Shana constantly. No one ever calls her the right name, and I think it bugs her. Um, so, <laughs> wait, is there a fault? Are you Jonathan? 11% says yeah. I'm sure that's a completely accurate poll, and there's not a single wrong stat there. Um, but I know my sister doesn't really like that people call her the wrong name. She always has to say it's Hannah with an S and, like, correct people if they ask her how to do it and she gets called the wrong thing constantly sometimes i get called like I'll, I'll get like katie's and and like names like that people call me sometimes because they just know it's a k and, and forget what it is but <laughs> better than it being like spelled wrong so okay i am certain that 13 percent of the chat is not named jonathan and you are all liars <laughs> you are all liars <laughs> Your name is Natalie and you get called Natalia all the time. Oh, really? People add an A there at the end. You're Lydia, but you get called Linda. Oh, that's annoying. That's not even that close. Silly people. 
Oh, I get called Kyla all the time too. Kayla, <laughs> you hear the same name. I get called Kyla constantly. That's probably like the most, I mean, if like I'm talking to a stranger, you know when like, um, I don't know, you like buy food somewhere and they call out your name, order for Kayla. I get called Kyla in that sort of circumstance all the time, all the time. Which is always interesting to me because I feel like um, Kyla is like a slightly less common name than Kayla, but I get it all the time. All right, you finish sleeping. We have to wait for the ghosts and <laughs> be kind of slow. I'm also gonna save my game. Your daughter is Kyla and gets called Kayla constantly. Yeah, I could imagine that that would happen more often in that direction. Cause I think that Kayla is a more common name. Maybe I'm biased in saying that, but I like the name Kyla. I think that's pretty. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased in saying that too. <laughs> but I think Kyla is a nice name. <laughs> That's a good name. There's only one thing that can make it better. And it's an extra A. <laughs> oh yeah, Donya, I bet you get called Dana all the time. You're Willa and get called Willow. Oh yeah, I could see that happening a lot too. That's hard. You get called Sandra, but you're Sophie? Oh, that's not even close. That's like me getting called Katie in school. <laughs> Oh, or Dan, yeah. Yeah, I bet you get that a lot too. Do people on Twitch just call you Dan? Like when you like type in someone's chat, do they go like, hey, Dan, <laughs> to you? Cause I could, I mean, I don't think I would do that to you, but I know, cause I always look out for the first name I see or like first most obvious word. And like, I don't know. I could see myself doing that by accident without realizing and just not like not reading the full name, especially in, specifically in Twitch chat, not necessarily in real life, but in Twitch chat. Cause I always am like trying to get something short to say and read less of the name. Cause then I can read the next chat message, you know? <laughs> <sighs> what is that bag of money? Oh, it's a reward from the detective career. Oh, did you, Brew? I'm proud of you. That's exciting. They assume your name is Danny. Oh. Mm. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. I'm sorry that happens to you. People sometimes call you Hillary. Your name is Abby. Oh, that's not even close. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Are you, d oh my goodness, your needs are terrible. All right, I'm gonna have Princess work on skills all day today, I think, unfortunately for her. I know she's probably not gonna be too happy about that, but it's what has to be done. Would you like to go and practice the guitar? I love this Freezer Bunny guitar. Practice, okay. Okay. Oh no. Burnout? I actually reject that. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in that. I'm just gonna cheat that away because no way am I dealing with that. Just no way. No, 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 no. This is not the same thing that we're talking about, but something funny that happens to Dan. This is uh, because of his stupid British accent. No offense to the British, but <laughs> whenever Dan, like, like say again, like you're ordering at a restaurant and they say like, oh, what's the name for that order? And Dan says Dan, every time they'll be like, what? What? Sometimes they think he's saying dad. So picture this, right? We're at VidCon in California. <laughs> And we're ordering uh, at Starbucks. This is a few months ago. And he's telling the guy, oh, the name is Dan, Dan. And the guy was like, what? Are you sure? Like he said like something like that. And Dan and I were kind of like, yeah. The cup comes out. He wrote dad on it. The guy thought that Dan was saying his name was dad. <laughs> And then Dan was trying to get him to call him dad on the coffee cup. Oh my God. 
and sometimes I think he's trying to say Don. Like, he just, he needs to say Daniel, because when you say the full thing, it gives the extra context they need. They never get it when he says Dan. You have to stop saying Dan, because this, the dad thing, we cannot have that happen again. That is so embarrassing. And it was not busy, because keep in mind, we were at VidCon, and, and there was a, a, a Starbucks in the hotel. And we were waking up really early because we were like still kind of on East Coast time. So it was like 6 a.m. They just opened and everybody at VidCon is sleeping in until like 10 a.m. at this hotel, like all the YouTubers. So nobody's out there. It was like me, Dan, one other person and the guy behind the counter. <laughs> so like it just felt so personal and like so, so awkward. But anyway, um, anyway, yikes. Saying that out loud now, um, people are uh, talking about boycotting Starbucks at this current moment in time. This was like a few months ago, obviously, um, but you know, important to mention. <laughs> I don't go to Starbucks regularly um, and I don't now. It was just that I was in California staying at this hotel and there was no food around, so. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. Um, I think. You're so hungry. I hate having to fix social needs. It's so boring to me to fix social needs. Um, joke about facial hair. I don't even drink coffee, so <laughs> I was buying a bagel. <laughs> That's what I was doing there. <laughs> okay. Lonnie and Trevor, thank you, Finn and Katie. Thank you for the subs, sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah. Your friend gives a fake name. Yeah, I can see how that might be easier for a lot of people. It's like almost not worth the effort of trying to explain sometimes, you know? Um, I get it. I get it. Moss is gonna be a teen tomorrow. We're close. We are close. Okay, how is your social now? You're pretty much fine now. Okay, good. You get some leftovers. Would you like to serve- how about we cook a grand meal again, quick? Clean out spoiled food and then... Cook a gourmet meal. Yeah, Alex, I've heard a lot of people say that, like testing out their, like a, ch a new chosen name in a place like that where like someone's gonna call it out and you like practice saying it to a stranger and, and they'll be like, I have so-and-so's order. Um, I hear a lot of people saying that they like doing that to help test out a new chosen name and like see if they're comfortable and if they like it and stuff. I like that, I think that's cool. All right, do you finish washing all of this please? Hurry up. Oh. That's okay. I kind of want to spend more money. <laughs> I'm trying to like make our money go down a little bit more. <laughs> uh, Pickle, I think, should age up today. Makosa. I might just do that because Princess is going to be home all day because she doesn't have work. So I might age up Pickle today while she's here. Um. Okay. Let's see if we can get this finished so you can eat. Oh. Normalize using a different name each time. I love telling silly lies. <laughs> oh, I maxed the skill. I, I can't say that I enjoy lying to people. I think it makes me nervous. But I, I respect the fact that that brings you joy. Low consequence, white lie. Do whatever you want. <laughs> say whatever you want. <laughs> okay, after you finish eating, I'm gonna have you come practice this. Pickle needs to eat. What? Where did that pizza come from? Oh, Lincoln made it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, good. I'll keep it. Maybe get rid of the money trash can? Oh, no. I think at this point, we might need to keep the money trash can now that I'm not getting the book royalties from um, Princess's dead mom. Because Princess's mom was like a very famous author who made thousands of simoleons a day. And then Princess was like high level in her detective career. But then I quit my job and now I'm level two in the entertainer career. <laughs> so 
So we're actually a little bit worse off for money than we were before. So we have to be a little bit more careful now. <laughs> we need to be a little bit more careful now. You want to write some more comedy routines too. Should I let you have this? I haven't normally been giving the not so berry sims the bonus traits. I might let you be creative though. I think it can pass as peachy somehow. Maybe one of the stars. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Brew, when you tell them at a coffee shop that your name is Brew, I can imagine that that would cause some complications. When they try to read it off, they'll be like, Brew. <laughs> and then <laughs> be very confused. Mm, yeah, I could see that being an issue. Yeah. Did they, that happened to you at TwitchCon even? They were taking it back? That sucks. Yeah, Brew goes by Brew in real life, too. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, this family isn't related to my, my YouTube legacy family. Two different saves. Um, the YouTube one and this one are separate, so. All right, I'm gonna have you go maybe until, like, 2 p.m., and then I'll bake the cake. So I can age the baby up. Uh oh. All right, let's see. Cook a gourmet meal again. Oh, I finished the gourmet cooking though, didn't I? So I don't have to anymore. Let's cook. Yeah, the dress matches her hair perfectly. <laughs> it looks kind of good, I think. I've really been enjoying um, the peach gen outfits. I like it. I'm excited for the green generation. I think I'm gonna like that a lot too. All right, come on, hurry up. Let's bake a cake for the kid. We'll age them up. All right. Like the kitchen? Yeah, I like this kitchen too. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> I really like the kitchen set from the Home Chef Hustle pack. I think Home Chef Hustle is so nice. Um, oh, and the traits for the green gen, I'll show you. So the green gen sim, um, they actually don't have to be vegetarian. The green gen traits are squeamish, geek, and cheerful. I was trying to do, so all of the generations, I try to have traits that kind of match the color theme. By the end, it's getting a little bit off. Um, so they just have like sometimes a little bit of green in them. <laughs> and sometimes it fits the story. The reason I didn't use vegetarian for the green gen is because gen one, the mint gen, has vegetarian as one of their traits. They're kind of minty in the, or like they're kind of green in the mid gen too. So that's why this one's not vegetarian, but I didn't want to use the same trait twice in the legacy challenge. I was trying to like branch out and have them be different. So, um, um we chose the careers. So when we were writing the challenge, um, we kind of picked the traits based on color scheme. Um, and then picked the order kind of based on storyline. Like we, we sort of arranged them in order of what we thought would be cool. Like, oh, if this person's grandma, like, so sort of like how um, the Gen 3 Sim, the yellow one, they're an astronaut, but their grandparent is a scientist. And we were like, oh, maybe it's kind of cool because their parent is sort of distant is kind of the storyline. So if they're close to their grandparent and their grandparent was a scientist, it makes sense that they might be interested in science too and then be an astronaut. So we kind of, we kind of based the order off of stuff like that. And then we based the career partially on the traits that they had, but also on like the story we were trying to tell. And we also tried a little bit to have them, like almost have the traits and the career not match up. Like we were trying to make each generation be like, I don't know, like the criminal career one, the orange gen, they're a criminal, but also their main hobby is baking. And that's like maybe not a skill that you would pair with a criminal career always. So we were trying to do stuff like that, um, was kind of the idea. I didn't use Jealous. I don't know, I just didn't like the Jealous trait at the time, I guess, I don't know. I wrote this in 2017, so. Oh, is the Mint Gen Jealous, actually? I think the Mint, no, the Mint Gen is Vegetarian, Jealous, and Materialistic, so we already used it, that's why. Because the Mint Gen is Jealous. 
I second guessed myself, <laughs> but there, there's like basically two almost green gens. So the mint one has the jealous trait already, and I didn't want to use it again. Um, it would be cool if you post on YouTube a speedboat, not some houses. I do post them usually. I'm actually posting a speedboat on this one this weekend. It's a little bit delayed because I got distracted by the new pack, but I am posting a speedboat of this house this weekend on YouTube. No, Jealous came with City Living originally. The Jealous trade. Uh -huh. All right, let's do some candles help so we can get this toddler aged up. Huh. Yeah, I'm really excited about the green gen's house. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Moss is gonna have like a oh, mossy oh, cottage oh, in Henford on Bagley. Oh, so I, I think that's gonna be kind of cool. Early midlife crisis, uh-oh. When I was writing the Not So Berry Challenge, I wrote in multiple midlife crisis storylines. <laughs> and um, it's kind of funny because now we actually have a real midlife crisis like gameplay feature, but we didn't have them when I wrote the storyline back then. So it is kind of funny looking back on. Moss cannot age up yet. Ooh, glutton for pickle. That's a good trait. Moss, you can't age up until you ride a bike for four hours. This is really important. I'm gonna have you come out here and, and get on the bike and or like ride the bike around until we finish the aspiration and then I can age Moss up. I just wanted to finish the um the aspiration first before I did it. Actually, while you're over here, oh someone ate the cake. That's okay. I'll bake a new cake for Moss, I guess. You want me to be an astronaut? No. I don't even know who you are. Go away. I need my computer. Well, they have ridden the bike for four hours total, but we, we're doing our third aspiration right now. So that would be why the aspiration thing isn't ticked off. I guess we could cheat it and it wouldn't be too bad, but. Oh, ladybug bike helmet, that's cute. We have to do this until like 9 p.m. almost. So that'll be fun. Oh, let me show you all. This will be fun too. So my my friend Christine, Mrs. Tomato in the chat, has made um, the spouse for Moss to marry when they grow up. Um, they made a sim called Elphaba, who is a, a spellcaster for us. Um, and, and they like actually played through Elphaba, like their whole childhood. Elphaba just became a teen, so she's on the gallery now. Um, but this is Elphaba's family. Um, she's got all of her outfits on. She has a cat called Tofu. These are her parents. Um, I'm pretty- oh my god! One of them's a celebrity? Who does painting videos? Whoa! That's cool. Anyway, um, so this is who Moss is gonna marry. <laughs> I'm excited about Tofu. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll- we'll place this sim down so they can be friends as teenagers once Moss ages up. I'll probably set that up next time we play with this save though. I don't think we'll have time to do it today. Whoa, look at us biking around. This is kind of fun. Bob Ross, more like Bob Moss. <laughs> Ride a bike for four hours. Oh, that counted. Oh, good. Well, we could, I guess if we wanted to, we could age up Moss now then into a teen. Oh, let me do, before I do that, let me do Pickles outfits because I, I wanna make sure we're dedicating appropriate amounts of time to everybody. And if we have to do Moss's outfits next time we play, that's okay. Cause I spend a long time in Cass, especially for the Legacy Air. The winter cake for Moss. I guess that one is kind of mossy. I need to like divide the cast up if I'm being honest. Doing two cast things in a row for me is a lot. I'm not a big creative sim person. <laughs> Having to do them both is like a bit much for me. <laughs> okay, so this is Pickle. Um, should I use one of the green hairs? I guess I always use this hair, but we could use this one and give him like a different shade of green. Oh, that's kind of a pickly green. 
We can't have the, the this one because that's the color, that's the hair that Moss has. I only have snowy escape hairs right now, so we have to only use those. <laughs> I only have recolors of snowy escape hairs, I should say. Okay. I need something very, like, pickle colored. Whatever that means. <laughs> um. Maybe Pickle can be more of like a lime green kind of kid. Maybe I could give you like more of a... Are any of these more of a lime color? Whoa. Oh, wow. Maybe we can have this one. And like really embrace the limeness of it all. I don't know. Green shoes. Okay. Do you want some likes and dislikes? You hate purple. You like S pop music and emotional decision, decision makers. You like small talk <laughs> and you enjoy the piano. That's lucky we have a piano. Um, maybe I'll give you some different eyebrows quick. All right, so that's your everyday outfit pickle. For your formal outfit, I don't really, I don't know, I'm not really inspired. Maybe this sweater could be good. Wow, that's very green. <laughs> okay, athletic wear. Um, this is very lime green too. That's pretty good. And that has lime green stripes. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe for your sleepwear, do you wanna wear those again? With a little green t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any green socks? I just want to have more green, I guess. Party wear. That's a nice top, but it's not green, so. I'm looking for lime green green is a lot easier to work with than most of the other colors that we've done so far i feel like we have way more green options look it look <laughs> it already matches perfectly i couldn't have asked for anything better than this are you kidding who knew okay his name is pickle yeah the siblings are called Pickle, Algae, Al for short, and Moss. I, listen, I'll admit that Algae and Moss are, are like, more real names <laughs> than Pickle. But, it's cute. So, yeah, Pickle is like, more like a nickname. I don't know. I don't know. Your green gen's cat's name was Pickle? Oh. <laughs> well, my green gen's brother's name is Pickle. <laughs> the more we talk about this, the less it sounds like a word. Like, the more we've said the word Pickle, I'm like, are we sure it's really a word? I hate this t-shirt. Maybe we could do some shorts and then like a plain white t-shirt. Because these come in green. That's good. Can we adopt a cat today? Okay. What Do you have any ideas for the name of a cat that the green generation of Sims could have? Because if you can come up with something. Mold? Frog. Frog. Wait, Frog's kind of a good person name. Should I have a fourth kid and name it Frog? I'm not gonna call it Booger. I don't like it. 
I've already had a pet named Turtle, so we can't do that. I did, I did really consider naming a, a baby Shrek. So I guess it wouldn't be too bad if we had a, like a pet named Shrek. But I don't know. Broccoli? Oh, wait. Broccoli was like the next top name choice. If we didn't name this kid Pickle, we almost called it Broccoli. So maybe Brock? Mm is a funny name for the cat. Wait, we could call it Brock. Do you wanna name the cat Broccoli? We had a whole discussion about how I don't like cooked broccoli earlier too. <laughs> we spent like so long discussing that. <laughs> we were having a whole kind of bunch of conversations about broccoli. <laughs> Kelsey, Rebecca, Kitten, Em, thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay, let's call the cat broccoli. Let's adopt a cat and call it broccoli. Pickles is the cat you're hoping to adopt IRL. It's a black six-month-old kitty. <gasps> oh my god! Can we pretend that it's related to my cats? They're the same age. <laughs> I say we should. <laughs> Yours just got rescued from the sewer sooner and separately. Okay, let me see about what kind of cats are available to adopt. Call adoption agency. Adopt cat. Let's find out. Oh, these two are twins. Do any of these look like they'd be named Broccoli to you? Why is Mama Kitty only a kitten? Rainbow? Rainbow is a little weird looking. Someone wants Budge. So maybe we can try and meet Budge too. Is Boomer a kitten? Budge is an adult. I think I'm more interested in getting an adult cat. Maybe I'll meet Fish. Let's, let's meet all of the adult cats quick. And I'll see what they're looking like. And then we'll, um, we can always go into cast and give them a new outfit. Oh my god. Guys, Rainbow has a shark hat. Oh, but this one has a grilled cheese hat. Oh no, how are you supposed to pick? But the shark hat? Get them both? I can't get them both. If I get them both, I'm gonna have- uh, No, you guys, if I get them both, I'm gonna quit the Sims. I can't get them both. I can only have one cat at a time. This one's Brock. Or whatever the other one's name was. This one's called Fish right now, right? Where's the third one? Oh, there it is. Why do you all have hats on? That doesn't usually happen to me. I don't know what to pick. I'm overwhelmed and intimidated. I think I want the one with the shark hat. Listen, we have a shark pond. This one, it, it just came prepared. It came prepared and it, it just, it knew, you know? So this will be broccoli with our shark hat. What happened to your shark hat? Oh my God, I'm horrified. We have to go into cast. Hold on. Shark hat, more like shark cat. <laughs> Guys, we have a shark pond in the front yard. Like we have to, it just, it knows. Oh, what genie. It's the we wear bags thing. Are you serious? The we wear bags thing is what's causing them to all wear hats. I'm giving the cat green eyes just because um, green eyes and a green collar. Um, Brock is skittish, aloof, and fluffy. I kind of like you, Brock. Okay, let me give Brock a shark hat. Look at all the different eyes on the shark hat. That one looks mean. 
I might get that one. Maybe no collar for the shark outfit. Should I get like a... I don't know, do any of the shirts, would this like help to sell the shark thing? They do have onesies. Look at the little sweaters. Oh my god, we should give the cat a sweater for one of its outfits. Maybe the cat can wear like a little green sweater for one of its outfits. Look! Oh, it's broccoli! <laughs> I love the cat clothes. There's no way my cats would absolutely not would absolutely not do this. No. I'm actually really impressed that the Sims cats take care of it so well. So well. Oh, I didn't check Brock's pronouns. Well, Brock is like pulp. Brock uses any pronouns. Whatever you need to, to, to call Brock, Brock uses any pronouns. So. Is this the cat version of Pulp? No, Brock's not as ugly as Pulp. Said with love. And like in a good way. I mean it truly. I meant that as like a compliment um, for Pulp. <laughs> Brock Brock is just fine, but I like I like Brock. <laughs> Pets in the Sims are so fun. We need to get we need to get some cat trees. And like a litter box and stuff for Brock. Um, well, we don't need this anymore, probably. Maybe I'll get a cat tree up here. Do they come in any sorts of peachy colors? Barely. Oh, oh, actually. Sorry, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that actually works all right, I would say. That kind of fits. Okay, that'll do. It has some light accent colors. That's not really peachy, it's more pink. But we can make it work. And then, should I get another cat tree downstairs? At what point is it like too many? That's a serious question. I'm asking for a friend about real life as well. Um, I'll put the litter box probably... Hmm. Oh, oh, Grandma's dead, so we can put it in there. That'll do. She doesn't need this room anymore. Be honest, how many cat trees do you have in real life? <laughs> um, one. There's one in Dan's office too. There's one in my bedroom. Um, there's <laughs> two in the living room. <laughs> there's one in the stair landing. <laughs> there's one on <in> the patio. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. This one, it's only small, it barely counts. Seven cat trees for three cats. Yeah, yeah. And Snap only uses a couple of them. The kittens use the rest. Snap likes the one in the living room and the one on the patio. The kittens use the rest of them. Snap doesn't. Sounds like you need more cats. No, I don't need more cats. I have enough cats. <laughs> listen, listen though, like the, the cats, they like to be in the room that I am in and also in the living room. They're not in here right now, but there's, there is very likely a cat on Dan's cat tree right now. When I come downstairs, there's probably a cat or maybe two on the cat tree in the living room. And one of the cats always sleeps in the cat tree in my bedroom. So I need to have multiple cat trees. It's a necessity. You put the cat trees where the humans go, and then the cats hang out. Um, but they actually, they do use all of them. Um, just not all at once. <laughs> Be honest, is the house yours or the cats? Sometimes it feels like it's the cats, and that's okay with me. I'm fine with that. Oh 
how much time do you spend on the stair landing? No, no, okay, it sounds, it sounds weird, the stair landing thing, but actually the stair landing is like, um, it's kind of like a slightly open room. Like we have some bookshelves and a couple chairs up there and a cat tree. So it's not, it's like kind of a room. It's like a, there's, it's like a place to sit and I keep a lot of my books up there. So it sounds bad. The stair landing is like, what does that even mean? But it, there actually is stuff there. It isn't just like a tiny hallway. It's a little wider, so. Um, not enough cat trees is what I'm hearing. Maybe I should get another one. What does that mean, dad? Yard creatures. What is, can anyone decipher that? I got my mom a like little sandhill crane statue to go in her yard for Christmas. So it's possible he's talking about that. I don't think he means the cats because the cats don't go in the yard. Do you mean my goats in The Sims? No, surely he hasn't seen those. Who knows? My dad says some really strange things. Negative, those are birdies. Oh, what? The birds are birdies. The yard creatures are what? The... Now he said right on. What is he talking about? <laughs> Person in red. What? What are you talking about? Have you seen my goats? No one's wearing red. Wait, now he just said what? Do you mean the ghost? Uh, surely he means the ghost. Maybe there was an angry ghost somewhere outside. And that's what he was talking about. Creature! <laughs> oh! Oh, he's making fun of Dan! He's making fun of Dan! He's making fun of Dan! I get it now. Okay, okay, <laughs> this one time, I'll tell the story again. He's just saying random things to make fun of Dan. Listen to this, listen to this, okay? So, Dan is British. He's never seen a possum before until a couple months ago. I'm in the shower. Dan comes running, yelling, there's creatures in the yard, but he's, he's, no, maybe he meant in the, maybe he said in the garden. There's a creature in the garden. There's a creature in the garden. There was a possum outside and he had never seen one before. <laughs> So when he saw the possum, he was like, what is going on? <laughs> and my dad, when I told him that story, he thinks it's so funny. Um, so that's, my dad is making fun of Dan right now when he said creatures. He's just randomly making fun of Dan. But he'd never seen a possum. They don't have them in the UK. He'd never seen one before. And in his defense, if you saw one of these things, let me make, let me find a picture at night so you can get the full vibes. Um, <laughs> imagine you look outside and there's like something like this staring back at you, but its eyes are glowing with the reflection from the light. Look, this is a creature. <laughs> this is a creature. I get it. Anyway, they're kind of cute. Wait. Look. You guys. You're gonna start crying when you see this. Isn't that so cute? They have all your little babies on their back and they'll run around like that. Oh my God. 
said, uh... <laughs> anyway, sorry um, about my dad just started making fun of Dan for no reason. <laughs> You're so pretty and you have beautiful babies. I think Sunny looks kind of like this. <laughs> My cat, I, I think, I think Sunny looks kind of like that. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a picture. Um, I need one of like her face so you can really get the vibes. Um, I have a lot of pictures of my own hair. That's not gonna work. Okay, this is a bad example, but this is a good- you can see her face shape from this one. I'm gonna pull it up. Are they like rats? The possums? Yeah. Okay, she doesn't look that rat-like in this image. But you see what I mean? Her head shape? This is her stealing all of my gift tags while I was trying to write them. You can see there's a bite mark in that one. Okay, I'm still looking for more pictures of Sunny. If I can get one of her on the stairs- Oh my god. Oh no. This one was a little bit ago. Um, like I have told you all, she had a bit of an issue where she was scratching at her, um, her chest after she first got spayed. Because she was stressed out, so she's missing a little bit of fur there. Um, she looks more like a cat here. Her face isn't so rat-like. Sometimes she looks a bit like a rat. And that's okay. Rats are good too. I'm trying to find more. I have so many pictures of cats and I'm trying to like pick and choose the most rat-looking ones. Anyway, just take my word for it. <laughs> She's a little, uh... Scraggly. <laughs> she's not scratching anymore. Um, we took her to the vet and stuff and, and she's all right, but um. <laughs> Anyway, um Let's go back to the game <laughs> done with the cats You want to like possums, but they freak you out. Oh, really? I think I kind of like them. I have been jump scared by them a couple times in my life. Like one time I went to let the dogs out the back door at my parents' house. And at my parents' house, they had like, um, imagine like, say this, I'm gonna give a little example. Imagine this is the back door and there's just like a little tiny concrete slab at the back door and then it's grass, okay? Like imagine like, you know, you walk out onto this and then there's just grass everywhere else. That's what their yard was like. And, um, they've since, like, put more pave, they, like, made it wider, but it's not that way anymore. Um, so it used to be just a little tiny slab. So I opened the back door to let the dogs out, and there was a possum right there on this little tiny concrete slab by the back door. And same thing, the light makes their eyes glow, and I remember opening the door and just seeing this thing with the glowing eyes and screaming, but also panicking, because I didn't want the dogs to, like, hurt it. So I had to, like, quick close the door, and it freaked me out. Anyway. Um... So that was, that was more just, I didn't want the dogs to like try and get it or something, you know, cause it was right there and like right next to the house, but it was fine. False alarm. They were okay. <laughs> Door was closed. It was okay. Did they eat ticks? Oh, that's good. Oh, I need to give this kid another bigger bed too. Um, and I'll probably get off stream here in a few minutes. I usually stream for about three hours, so... Your contractor found a possum living underneath your old hot tub today? Oh no. Okay, when my parents, when they replaced and like made the patio wider from like the tiny little square into like more of a slab, this was only a couple years ago. Snake nest. I won't give any further details, but snake nest underneath that little tiny concrete slab. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't talk about it around my mom. Cause my mom has like a severe snake phobia. Not a joke, but yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> no, they weren't bad snakes. They were just, um, they're, they were just like, I think they're just black racers is the kind of snake they are, which they don't like harm any humans. Um, they're actually probably good to have in your yard, but kind of freaky 
when you think about it <laughs> too much. So, okay, here, I'll give the kid this little bed. Um, probably scoot this a little bit backwards too. Try and make sure we have enough space so everybody can walk around it. There we go, now everybody has a bed. And all the rooms are different. I don't like creatures with too many or too little legs. <laughs> when there's when there's too many or too few legs involved, I'm not interested. <laughs> I think I think I like snakes. They make me a little uncomfortable with their slithering, but I don't think I dislike snakes. I don't know. I'm not like my mom. Terrified of them. Remember when there were eggs in your wall? Stop! <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. So this, okay, we renovated this house before we moved in a little bit. And um, <laughs> there there used to be this like weird like intercom system in a couple areas. It was broken, long broken, like from the 90s, you know, like probably broke close to then. So we took it out and they replaced the holes in the wall with just drywall and stuff. Well, there was one like kind of on the back patio. And when they pulled the like speaker box out, there was like hundreds of little tiny eggs behind the speaker box. And I'm fairly certain that they're, they're just like regular lizard eggs, you know, welcome to Florida. But the absolute jump scare horror when you open up the wall and there's hundreds of eggs there. No, <laughs> no, I posted a picture, oh, the adoption event ended, on Twitter, and I was like, I need someone to please tell me what kind of eggs these are right now, because <laughs> I was so scared they were, they were like lizard eggs, I'm, or sorry, snake eggs, they were lizard eggs, not snake eggs, I was scared they were snake eggs, but I'm okay with the lizards, because there's lizards everywhere, I probably have hundreds of lizards already here anyway, <laughs> minus the eggs, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, kind of yucky when I saw that. I hate this story. It gives me the fear. I w I'm not too scared of it. Lizards are okay. I'm not freaked out by them. They're nice little guys. Um, you got engaged last night. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Um, the lizards are cute, I think. And they're everywhere, so. I doubt that they were all born at one time. I bet that was like a long time of lizards in there and they weren't in there they weren't still in there and they didn't seem like they were fresh either if it makes you feel any better <laughs> anyway <laughs> solace thanks for 34 months Hal and morg and nerdy side thank you for the subs too um i think what i want to do i think i might end the stream here in a couple minutes though because i'll probably go and find somebody to raid um tomorrow we're gonna try to finish the townhouses that we started building yesterday um so we'll work on that tomorrow. You know how I was hungry earlier? That's gone now. Sorry, Christine, we're talking about lizards. <laughs> lizards are nice. They eat, listen, listen. You hate bugs, right? Me too. Lizards eat them. We like lizards. They're nice little guys. I've had to save many lizards from inside my house. I think they're kind of cute. I, I have a, a serious fear of my cats killing a lizard. That's my issue. So if there's a lizard in my house, I kind of freak out, but not in like a, I'm scared of the lizard way. I'm scared for the lizard way. So. And they're just, you know, like this big. <laughs> anyway, let's go find somebody to raid. I love bearded dragons. My sister has a bearded dragon and I think he is like the coolest thing in the entire world. I really, really, really like him. Um, okay, I think we should go over and find someone to raid. And actually, my friend Emrys um, is playing a legacy challenge. It's called the Family Dynamics Legacy. And it just says episode two in the title. So we have actually probably caught this at a great time because they're just starting out a new legacy challenge. So that might be kind of fun to go over and watch. Um, so my friend Emrys, a lot of you probably know them because we play Among Us together. Uh, Emrys uses they, he pronouns, just so you know. Um, and we'll go over and say hi. We can watch and play some Sims together. How about that? Um, have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry for talking about lizards so much at the end of the stream. <laughs> I'll stop. I will never bring it up again, okay? I will never mention the lizard eggs again after today. <laughs> 
Um, and I will catch you tomorrow to do some more Sims building, all right? Have a good night, everybody. Go say hi to Embers for me. Goodbye!